trying to be miserable. Play by play, check, check, mic check. We're a half an hour away from the start of Army yeah! versus Air Force. Yeah! These two beautiful trophies are on the line. Are they going to stay in Colorado Springs? Yeah! Are they headed to West Point? Yeah! College match day, Army versus Air Force, next. way to start our coverage than a view of the beautiful stars and stripes. Actually, we can top that. How about a crowd filled with graduates from both academies? Players, let's hear it! Yes! An amazing group of veterans that served our beautiful nation. Hi, I'm Luke Jensen, and it is an honor to bring you Army versus Air Force at this beautiful college match day format. These two great trophies. And this match day situation is going to be great. We're going to have all four coaches on. We're going to have alums from both academies and, of course, the big match. So let's get this thing started. We are truly in the presence of greatness. We have four coaches that we're going to showcase here that have a total of 83 years of head coaching experience at all, all uh, both academies. 1,244 wins for the Army and the Air Force. Let's hear it for these coaches. Yeah. Our first coach has won 288 matches at West Point. Jim Poling, come on down. Where are you? Nice to see you. You got the microphone right over there. So, Coach, 20 years leading these unbelievable kids to the next level. It's beyond forehands and backhands. What is what has it been like coaching at West Point? It's been great. I, I went for three years and decided to say more. It's been great. These, these guys are tremendous. Great athletes, great people. They work their butts off for us, and they want to get better. They're, they're tremendous guys. But you, you're it. from Orlando. I'm from Orlando. You, you coached yeah. at Rollins before yeah. you went to West Point. Right. What is really the difference between coaching at West Point? Point, coaching these men and women that take it to the next level. Well, they don't get drunk on Wednesday night. 
uh, they work hard. I'm, they're, they're solid. They show up every day, and I don't have to explain everything to them. We're going to work hard today, and they do it. They come out there and bust their butts. Give us one memory from your 20 years that just jumps out at you. Uh, well, we played uh, American University, and uh, they were they won the conference three years in a row. And my guys were fighting like crazy. It was a great match. And I'm watching this thing, and I, we can't beat them. So I sit there, I start crying a little bit, because it's so amazing, all the ad, they're, they're, how hard they work. And all of a sudden, their one guy from American says, Coach, we're going to win it. That's all it took for John Houghton. Okay, he started pushing all day long. He broke that guy down. And then Eddie Kang, our freshman, was playing five for us, came back, and we beat him. And it was just because that one guy yelled, we got these guys. That's a, now, you served our nation, right. and you were awarded for that. What is it like to build the character within your players, and now you see them contributing to our nation? You know, it's amazing. They come to West Point, and they're 18-year-old guys, like anybody else. They graduate, and they're so much more mature. They're so much more organized. And then they go out in the real army, and they're a company commander, a platoon leader, or something like that. All of a sudden, they're, they're adults, and they're doing amazing things every day. Are we going to see and win number 289 today? Yeah. Oh! coach has been at Army for 26 seasons. He coaches the women's team at West Point. 498 wins. Coach Peck, come on down. Now, when I was coaching at Syracuse, I think I think eight of those wins were against me. Oh, and I never no, told you matches. this. Whenever we set it up, the schedule, I used to circle, and we called it the bronze boot match because you used to come and kick our butt because you had such tremendous character. Every one of your players came out with such great focus. They're always fit, always tenacious. Really, what sets your team apart from all the other schools that you play? I think what happens is, A, the conditioning. We're, we're always in really good shape. B is the, the mental toughness, you know, and all the leadership training. So when they come, you know, you know they're going to play till, you know, until the very last. So they never give up. You served and you rewarded. What's it like to build the character? Because when I when I coached against you, when I used to coach against your players, it was way more than just wins and losses. They were they had a bigger cause. What is that cause when you build character and build that leadership quality? Well, you know, the neat thing is, is that you know they're gonna serve our country. And besides being their coach, I want them to be prepared to be army officers. Having been a former army officer myself and a former platoon leader and battery commander in combat, you know, I want them to be prepared for what's gonna happen happen down the road and um, so that's why I enjoy coaching so much I couldn't coach anywhere else oh, you have a tough opponent today they're undefeated so far this year are you gonna get number 300 I'm sorry let me go back 499 today I think we have good chances let's hear for Army. Thank you, Thank you, coach. our next coach has coached 24 seasons at the Air Force coach Kim Gidley yeah! Welcome, welcome. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful squad you have. You just seem to get better and better. What's re Look at a new recruit. I got an assistant coach. There you go. There you go. Oh, another one. They, this they is just fantastic. bleed blue. They're ready to play tennis. Air fantastic. Force tennis. No, no, Air Force is a little different. You come from the altitude up there. What's it like to come down to sea level and play someone as good as Army? Well, it just means we get to play all day because we got all that air. <laughs> air Force, that is. 328 wins. What has been the difference in your career at Air Force? Oh, it's obviously the cadets that play for us, and uh, we strive for greatness every day in everything that we do, and they carry it over in all the things they do as cadets and then when they graduate. Talk about the recruiting process, because it's different from the other schools that you play against. The service academies um, have to find a certain type of fiber and character within a player. We don't necessarily need the best people. We need the right people, and that's who you want to protect and defend mm -hmm. your country. Well, I want to bring down one of your former players, a, a Dr. Chloe Forlini. Oh, Dr. Chloe's in the house. Doc, what was it like playing for the Air Force Academy? Oh, man. There is 
is no better experience than to play for the Air Force Academy and to play for Coach Gidley. The girls that you play with and that you compete against um, are next level, and they're friends that stick with you for life. Um, Coach acts like a mom. She acts like a best friend and a mentor. And so, really, there really is no other experience like it. Take us through your process. You're a junior tennis player. You're in high school. You're looking at a bunch of schools. Mm -hmm. Why the Air Force Academy? Why the Service Academy? Well, really, I fell in love with the Academy when I took my recruiting trip, and I found out about all the experiences that the Academy has to offer. And really, the, the people that you're surrounded by have the same mindset, the same competitiveness, um, type A, but also they want to do the right thing. They want to be the best that they can be. And so I wanted to surround myself like people like that. If you had to do it again, would you do it any differently? Oh, no way. Never. I would always go to the Air Force Academy. Let's hear it for Air Force. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Our next coach played for the Air Force Academy. The uh, Dan, Coach O, come on down. Dan Osterhaus. 130 wins as a head coach, but you actually played for the Air Force Academy. You have the fifth, fifth most wins as a number one player in singles and number two as a doubles player uh, at, um, at number one doubles. Talk about your relationship as a player and now leading these fine uh, student athletes. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm really proud to get to coach this team. I mean, I'm, it's just an honor to, to see some of my young grads back and a lot of our early grads. Um, I love being a part of the program and I wouldn't want to coach anywhere else. Now, talk about, we talked off camera about the work ethic that a lot of people don't realize compared to other schools where there's extracurricular activities, mm -hmm. they're, they're going to work and they're preparing to defend our country. Talk about their daily routine. Yeah, it, it starts early in the morning and by the time they come down to practice. What, uh, what's early? What's military early? So, uh, 545, the freshmen have to get up and start doing uh, kind of dorm inspection and by 630, everybody's out going to breakfast and classes start at 730. So, it's a tough schedule. You know, they go to four, hour, four hours in the morning and then they got lunch and then military training after that. They come down to the courts around two o'clock and they've, they put a full day of work in. Sometimes they've jumped out of airplanes or flown airplanes or, you know, done satellite work before they even come to practice. And so we, we get them and they're pretty tired, but they give us 100%. So when you get a text or something from one of your student athletes that says, hey, coach, I can't make practice today. I fell out of an airplane. You accept that? <laughs> yeah, we, that, that's something we have to deal with. So, um, yeah. It's... Uh, the, so talk about, you know, how they prepared the four years. Because when you played, you said it was a little different. It was. I mean, the academics are still tough tough. Uh, but I mean, th these guys are so smart and uh, they just have such great opportunities. There's more opportunities now for them when they graduate in the different career fields they go into. So when I was going through, most everybody became a pilot. Um, and, and nowadays there's so many more career fields that they have opportunities for tech, you know, high tech career fields, space operations career fields. And so that's the stuff that I'm excited about those guys getting into. What do you think about college match day against the Army? Yeah, this is unbelievable. Um, Jim and Randy, thank you guys so much for playing again. This was the best thing we've ever done um, for our, both our programs, I believe. And I want to keep this up. So thanks, guys. Let's hear it for the Air Force. Let's hear it for the Army. What amazing enthusiasm. When we come back, we'll have more from Lake Nona and the National Campus. honored to have the military here, the branches of Army and the Air Force, but the USCA National Campus does something extraordinary every week for our veterans. And Tony Stingley, who works for the National Campus, USCA, we're buddies for a long time. You run that clinic for veterans. Tell us about it. Yeah, well, it's a great group of uh, ladies and gentlemen that come out every Monday night for about an hour and a half. Some of them are represented right behind me here. And, you know, we do uh, some drills and things, and then we get out there and 
they like to play singles or doubles. Uh, you know, we've got a core group of about 8 to 12 people that come every week, and also we have a group that comes from the VA Medical Center, which is about a mile or so from here, when we aren't, they aren't in pandemic lockdown, which they are right now, but we have a group of about, oh, 5 to 10 that come from the VA Medical Center that participate on a weekly basis. What level are we talking about? Players that used to play, players that are new to the sport? We have it all. Yeah. Brand new to the sport, uh, you know, players that uh, about 3-0 to 4-0, some that think they're 7-0, <laughs> but with, uh, we have it all. We run the gamut and everything. You know, they're former military, so there's no lack of, uh, you know, they they think they can do it, and they get out there and do it. And they get it done. Yeah, That's they fantastic. get it done. So talk about some of the drills or some of the games that you run with them. Okay. Well, especially for one of our guys back here, we do a lot of footwork stuff to try to get him to move his feet and move in, and, you know, we get close to the net and do some volley work. That's where I love the net. We try to work on getting them from, you know, not swinging too much up at the net. And then, of course, we work on the entire thing, serves and returns, and try and make it fun. Live ball, not in any lines or anything like that. Yeah. Live ball stuff. And then about the last 45 minutes uh, to an hour, we play. So which, which, which service is more represented? Do you have more Army vets? Do you have more Air Force? I think it's Army. Would you say Army guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think I'm it's more Army. That, but I think Navy might answer that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the victory. No. Yeah, I think it's more Army. Well, yeah. thanks for honoring our veterans yeah. and all the service we do at the National Campus. Fantastic. Yes, yeah, a great group of guys and girls, and we always end up uh, every session with Lee Greenwoods, uh, proud to be an American. Of course, of course. That's every session. That's that fantastic. really enjoy singing that, so it's a great group of guys and girls. Thank you, Tony. All thank right, you, thanks. veterans. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. fortunate not only have the active players but former players and even coaches from the academies and here um, Captain Walt Orline? Orline. Orline. Now tell me about your experience through the military because you coached at Air Force but you went to West Point. That happens. In the 60s Air Force Academy was quite new first class 59 so the classes of Army and Navy did send graduates. I was one and uh, what an honor to be here. This is, I'd say, two quick things. When I got to the Air Force Academy in 1967, we actually had 33 tennis courts. And that was pretty large at the time. And to be here at this 100-court complex and participate, it's a victory lap. And uh, the other saying in tennis is, it's the sport of a lifetime. So thank you very much. Introduce your two players. This, uh, These were number numbers one and two. For two years is Dr. Jack Shunk, fighter pilot, Dan Darty, great man. His dad went to West Point, and uh, they both played in the NCAA's in 1970. 70. 70. Yeah. You were too young, Luke. <laughs> Those were wood racket years. Tell oh, me, right. tell me your experience playing for the academy. Well, it. Uh, it was uh, surreal because uh, the NCAA had just changed the rules so freshmen could play yeah. on on sport on varsity sports. So that means Dan and I, instead of doing a lot of the uh, in, included in all the hazing, we got out of things because we had upperclassmen to protect us. We had uh, we got out of formations. We had road trips. We didn't have to eat at attention half the year. So it was great. So talk about your experience because I mean, you're coming in, you're playing, but you're committed to something greater. You served uh, beyond the Air Force Academy. What has your life been through those early years? Uh, it's, it's been wonderful. The uh, uh, when we when we played, it was uh, as Jack was saying. It got us out of a lot of stuff. We got and we got trips. I mean, most most freshmen didn't get to leave, so we got to take trips out to play. And uh, I just remember. In, in general, we always felt that we were competitive, and we definitely felt that we were in better shape than anybody. <laughs> Being in the altitude. The altitude, and we just ran everywhere all the time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so it was, it was 
a lot of fun. A lot of work, but a lot of fun. Coach, what's it like to be at the alumni match? Your former players are playing, and you get to connect not only with your players of the past, but the current players. The enthusiasm is extraordinary. It's an amazing day. Uh, I was here three years ago. Coach Dan and Coach uh, Jim uh, put this together, and, and actually, Jim, I was stationed right over here at the airport, and Jim was the high school phenom in, in town in Winter Park. But to come back and, and, and be with all this, you know, 50 years, that's the dedication. You see it in their careers, and look at the group that has come back. What a great place. Jack, you were a former fighter pilot. What do you see in the cadets now that are going to be flying the Raptors and other fighter jets? Uh, on the tennis court, I was totally impressed. We never played that hard, or uh, and I, I love this setting because of the, the hoopla. It's so enthusiastic. Uh, tennis is an individual sport, but being here, I don't feel like it's an individual sport. It's uh, definitely a team sport. And Dan, finally, who do you think's going to win today? I mean, Army's pretty good. Yeah. They're pretty good, but I think we're going to pull it out. <laughs> Well, well, thank you for your is, service. Uh, yes, sir. I have one thing to say. Dan and I traveled to Army uh, 52 years ago for a match, and we thought we were going to kick there. But we lost. So we've been waiting 52 years for a we revenge wanna, match. Of them. There yes. you go. Well, we got so, the trophies ready to go back to Colorado Springs. Yeah. But we ended up uh, uh, teaming up with uh, Army alumni in this uh, match today. It was a lot of fun to meet them and play with them. I saw some serving volley, too. Oh, gotcha. yeah. <laughs> some yeah. old school tactics. That's right. Very old school. They well, played on clay at West Point in 70. Wow. Yeah. We had red yeah. clay. There you go. Well, thank you for your service. Have fun today. When we come back, more amazing stuff from the National Campus in Lake Nota, Florida. And we have such a unique match. We are honoring the military with a battle royale, the land or the air. It's Air Force versus Army, College Match Day, USTA. What a special event. Luke Jensen here, here at the USTA National Campus. And look at their planes overhead. And that's not the Air Force, that's the airport. You can see a lot of flyovers here <laughs> as we see forehands and backhands going like crazy. And we've had a great day so far. We have honored the alums and veterans of the Army and Air Force earlier today in an alumni duel. And I am really excited. We're going to start with doubles, and we're going to have both men's and women's doubles to start out. Air Force men and women playing the Black Knights of Army, West Point's finest men and women. These first six courts will have the doubles. Down on five and six. We have a special ceremony before the start of this match. National Anthem coming up. See players from both teams just warming up. Final shots. And we'll start out this duel with doubles. Joining me is Khan Deep. She was a captain of the 1999 Army team, and Julie Childers, who uh, was the captain of the 1999 Air Force team. And, and 2000. And 2000. That's Jeez. outstanding, Julie. And we are also joined by Bryce here. Bryce is going to be joining us, giving us some of the details when we, once we get into the competition. But welcome, everybody. Thank you. What an unbelievable opportunity to see some of the best tennis from the service academies. Absolutely. It's going to be a fun day for sure and seeing that competitive spirit from everybody. And Conda, how did you get into the military academy? Well, it really changed my life. I was uh, got received a recruiting letter from Coach Peck. Yep. And uh, so, uh, thanks Bryce, I appreciate that. <laughs> he's, uh, he's so excited to be uh, his first uh, 
time here. He really wants to be a commentator. Yeah, he wants to be a sports yeah. broadcaster. We're psyched to have him here. Yes. So I received a recruiting letter from uh, Coach Peck. Really didn't know what the Your military, sophomore, junior year. My junior year. High school, okay. High school. Did not realize what the service academy was all about. You know, my, uh, my parents were refugees from Vietnam. So we came over. We, you know, just worked hard and... They started a new life, and then all of a sudden I went to a recruiting trip at West Point and then sold. That's outstanding. So we're, we have a special acknowledgement right now. And Julie, we're going to get your story at the Air, Air Force Academy. Awesome. Official win for Give it up. Just so you know, I did order those flybys. <laughs> I just love how they honor the, the veterans and the, the servicemen and women that have gone before. We are so honored to have all of you here. Oh, that is outstanding. Oh, and he's getting presented with a bag. Oh, how awesome. One of the team tennis bags. That's wonderful. And it's Operation Torch then from yeah. one of his operations. Yeah. It really is a family. Oh, it really it is so is. Incredible through the generations talking to some of the veterans who have played and served our country in the different just services. A moment, just a moment. We'll get interrupted going for you. Yeah, you have an instant connection with, and really it goes across all the service academies. Uh, you find out that somebody went to an academy, and it's an instant connection. Now, today, we're going to be competitive. That's right, that's right. But yeah. other than, you know, playing each other, I mean, it is through something very similar. And it's like an instant bond because of that. But I'm so fascinated. We talked to Khan about her, you know, thoughts of joining uh, the Army, the West Point cadets, and that entire pathway for her what about what was your pathway to the Air Force Academy so I knew nothing about the academies um, and it was my senior year uh, beginning right before the start of my senior year I played a uh, national tournament in Kentucky um, coach Peck actually started recruiting me wow and um, I was like no way in the world am I going into the military well I went on my recruiting trip and holy cannoli, like this was for me. Like I loved the competitiveness of it. I loved really a lot of the um, structure of it. 
And my dad said, just before you make a decision, just go look at Air Force. And you had no military in your family before Actually, that. my dad was a navigator on a KC-135, but way before I was born. I yeah, mean, yeah. my parent, I was, my dad was 43 when I was born. So okay. like none of that, I didn't know any of that. So anyway, yeah. And then I just, I loved it. I loved the, what it brought and be able to chance to serve our country and give back. You can see we're about to set up for the national anthem and saw them warming up uh, earlier today. It was just so chilling, just goosebumps. USC has done such a great job just to bring the two forces together. We welcome you to College Match Day. We are almost ready for a first serve. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. There are some seats in a row. I see some people coming to the stands now. There are some seats down at five and six. Once again, for those of you who are new to the stands, of course, one, two, and three are women's doubles. Four, five, and six are men's doubles. I right, so we'll get that underway. But really, guys, thank you so much for coming out. We hope you've had a good time so far. As you can see, plenty of freebies, lots of food and beverages going on. But really, no one wants to hear me talk. We want to, we want to see the student athletes, right? And we want to listen to this amazing choir. That's straight up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the rosters for both teams. And first one up is the Army women. Let's give it up. Here we go. From Company F4, Carolyn on. From Family out of Chicago. Paulina Fioli. From Company E3, Elizabeth Gilbert. From Company B3, Paige Caramus. From Company G2, Molly Deaver. From Company I3, Cooper Jackson. From Company B1, Julia Kelly. Sophie it's fantastic. I mean, just so awesome to see these wonderful, wonderful student athletes. And student is so true because they put more emphasis on student here. You have to perform. Unlike other colleges, I would say, there is a level you have to be at. There's no choice. That's right. And you have such a... Um, a um, techno technology Army engineering background that you have to have. You you pretty much graduate with a bachelor of um, you know a, a minor in engineering when yep. you graduate from these schools. Right, they are ready. So let's give it up. First up, company. It's amazing how much work they put in. Absolutely, every day. Company I one, Samuel Eden. Just to get the nomination from your senator is just, it's got to be the pressure from a high schooler to walk into those offices to ask for that nomination. I got to sit on a board um, for one of our congressmen in Northeast Florida uh, about two years ago to select uh, one of the, or actually, I think we had two seats to fill. Mm. And let me tell you, it's, it's competitive. Um, and it's amazing to see the difference in how kids carry themselves, they're meaning yeah. kids, carry themselves, and it's the one that gets selected stands out heads and shoulders. It's really, it's really neat to see. Yeah, yeah. Now, Jim is, a, look at that, yeah, their coaching staff is outstanding. This is Jim's final year, 20 years. He was actually served in Vietnam. And Jim is finishing out his career as head coach after 20 years. That's awesome. The Air Force women. Am I allowed to? Um, well, Julie, you would have to be a neutral observer at this point. <laughs> we'll have plenty of time during break points, Absolutely. set points. Absolutely. From Sports Armor, Squadron 23, Isabella Foden. 
So, Julie, I will ask you your uh, your feeling on your teams, the Air Forces, the women wearing the camouflage. Oh, yeah. Very impressive. You're wearing it now. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's got to be hard to see the ball in situations. Oh, on absolutely. Your I feel kind of bad for Army. <laughs> The only, uh, the only better right, camouflage right. it could be is if it was neon yellow. That's right. <laughs> Matching the tennis ball. And coach of the Falcons is Kim Kelly, assistant coach Kelly Anderson. Let me tell you, we're, we're a little bit more serious in the Air Force here. You know, yeah. Just, <laughs> just playing black shirts. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> But look, look at that. Some of them have Nukem on the back. Yeah, I saw that. They do. Yeah, yeah. Well, Kim Gidley is a, a 24 season head coach for the women's team at Air Force. 328 wins. She, uh, we went Division One when I started there, and and Coach Gidley came in my my junior year. And she got us our first national ranking. That's great. Yeah. Well, she came. She was head coach. She was a national champion as a player in college. Mm -hmm. So she, going in there, she was so excited. She was telling me all the years and all the great players she's worked with. So, Julie, when you see, you know, Tiger Squad, what does a squadron mean behind each cadet? So, it's funny because the squadron is totally different than it is in the Army world and in the Navy world. Um, our squadrons are uh, set up, that's kind of uh, our grouping of seniors, juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. It's about uh, probably 100 people oh, per, per squadron. Oh, wow. Yeah. Maybe a little more. USA, USA. Amazing voices. Unbelievable. Okay, Bryce, let's get down to it. That makes my heart you, sing. Yeah, it sure does. So, Bryce, who do you think? You, I know you're an Army guy. You up in an Army family. What's your feeling on the match? I, I think Army's going to win it because of their coaching staff. Their coaching staff has so much experience, and I think the coaching experience will just lead on to the court. Paul Peck, 498 wins. That's just and a amazing. bunch were against my teams. <laughs> wasn't fair. So, Julie, let's go to the Air Force side. What are yeah. your feelings going into this? Oh, I mean, Air Force is playing well. We're undefeated so far this year. And, uh, you know, Coach always has a good coaching strategy in play for yep. uh, coming out on the court. And I, I got to tell you, I think, I think Air Force women for sure is going to take it. And men, It'll be close, but I think it's going to be Air Force. Okay, let's yeah. get Khan's opinion. Let's share it right here, Bryce, with your mom. So, Khan, your final thoughts before we kick this thing off? Yeah, you know. Land or air? Well, honestly, I'm, I'm going for land, but, <laughs> but you know the Air Force is undefeated with the, with the women's team. That's yeah. impressive. And, and I, had to, I spent some time when I was at Carson, Fort Carson, Colorado, with Kim, and she's a, she's a great coach, too. And, of course, I'm Coach Peck's first recruit, so yeah. I'm loyal, loyal to the end. <laughs> but they're all prepared. Every one of these cadets out there is just so focused. It's just, as you see him huddling up right there, look at how many times you get to hit both the men's and women's team? 
So I will tell you, it wasn't like that when we were, when I was there. And it's so cool to see how this culture has changed and the teams have really come together to support each other. And they have like this love of the game. And a one mission. Have. They yeah. really have, they it's go through really all the- really awesome to see. You know, from being a plebe and going through the entire, it's just coaching against these teams. It, you just were going up a different type of individual, up and down the line. And yeah. it was just, they they're have a different purpose, a different vision. Yeah. Yeah, they're never going to give up. They're going to scrap till there's nothing left to scrap. Two of three clinches the doubles point. Two of three clinches the doubles point, and they'll take a one hole lead in the singles play. When you look into their huddles, they just have so much energy. Yeah. And they're ready to play. You can just tell it in their look. So here are the rules of college tennis for college match day here at the USCA National Campus. Doubles will open up the matches. So there will be three women's doubles matches, three men's doubles matches. And whoever wins the overall, whoever wins two out of the three will end that doubles point. There'll be one point in the overall team count. The first of four wins the duel. Following the doubles, six singles matches will take place. Best of three sets in each one of those matches. Each match, singles match, is worth one point. So it doesn't matter if you're one, doesn't matter if you're six, that point is as important as any other point. And the first school to secure the fourth team point wins the match. So it's going to be very different and unique because normally you don't have both the men and women going at the same time. So we're going to be following the matches both in front of us and behind us going to the big points. And it's, it's just such a beautiful setting here in Lake Nona. It really is. And the weather couldn't be any better. Yeah, I mean, we had a little rain is. this morning that oh. backed things up a little bit, but I think we're ready to go. Over yeah. 100 courts here at the national campus. And there's some indoors, some clay, even some pickleball here. So it's oh such a great gosh. experience. They, they put in pickleball. I love it. Embracing yeah. it. Hey, I love it. Yeah. So Julie, what take us through these moments before you start playing. You played at this level. You know, what are the players going through mentally, emotionally? So, um, so this match here, playing another service academy, I gotta tell you, it's unlike any other playing any other school because it is that rivalry. You know, it's one of the the big rivalries. So, it just it takes extra energy just yep. to really focus. Um, as far as like what our women's team goes through and what uh, coach has us do, um, you know, we have our routine and we stick to it. And coach has us completely focused on the shots she knows that we're going to need during our matches, during our doubles, during our singles. And we are just completely focused. Energy is up. And, you know, we're trying to be in the zone while we're out there. Con, what was Coach Beck really focused on in these moments, getting you ready for the dual match, the entire team? Well, you know, it's, it's, it starts way before the match itself. So we, especially with the diet prior to uh, what we're eating, he's focused on that. And then, and then really, he's, he's really superstitious. I don't know if you guys realize that, but there's a certain routine that we follow. And, um, and it's really just getting your mental, it's the mental readiness mm -hmm. piece, getting your mindset to go into the match. Now, there are no warm-ups here. We go right into it. As soon as they flip the coin and decide who takes what side. Remember, we've got some elements right now. Both teams normally playing indoors at their home stadiums, obviously cold in Colorado and cold in New York. So playing outside is going to be a little bit of a challenge, but they've been down here for the last couple days. This is this court, is court one. one. Vivian Glossman on the, for Air Force here on the left, that's the taller, and then Karina Chow. They're playing number one doubles for Air Force on court one, that's right. And then you said, yeah, to me, Stephanie Dolhide is just a beast. I mean, playing with Carolyn Vincent. Dolhide comes from a tennis family out of... who actually played for the United States, represented the United States at the Billie Jean King Cup last fall. There's Dole Hyde right here she at the bottom of your screen. I'm sorry? State Championship team. Yeah, no, that whole family, all they do is win. Dole Hyde's going up to the net. Vincent is going to be returning here, bottom right of your screen. Both of the Army women are team captains.
And there's that Good poach hand. yeah, right away. You can see just a beautiful poach from Glossman coming across. And what you saw in the warm-up from Air Force, you saw that right there. A lot of poaching. They're really focused on a lot of doubles, covering the line, looking for the cross court. You have very little reaction time to react to that. Absolutely. You've just got to make sure you are ready for everything. Right before you know it, it's at your feet and you can't do anything about it. Julie, what's the what's the dynamic when you're playing a lefty on the other side? You see, Chow is serving. Yeah, that I tricky mean, spin. absolutely. So especially on a serve, it's going to be a tricky spin. Um, you know, a lot of the times you would think, you know, the the forehand it ends up being better on a lefty, and a lot of the time it ends up being, you know, their backhand because they're playing that so much more in general. So you know, spins are really the biggest change, but um, other than that, you stick to your placement, stick to where you're hitting the ball, and, and stick to your game plan. Yeah, that's Dole Hyde once again looking for and has a nose for the action around the net. Beautiful stick volley. And Con, you've got to be very happy with that volley from Arby early on in this in this doubles match. And remember, this is the first of six. They're not playing two out of three sets. This is going to be a very quick set. No ad scoring, so at deciding point, the receiving team chooses the side. And kind of just a little bit late on that forehand. And it, you know, you just, you have to find that uh, fine moment between being aggressive and, you know, and placement and finesse. So it's, it's a lot of the mental game, but then when you're in the moment, you just gotta, and all that repetition of pr perfect practice, you know, works out. And you remember, you're gonna... Courts. Oh. Nice. Here we go, good serve. And Julie, you have Glossman who's five foot ten. What does that do to a returner when you're sitting there trying to get the ball past someone who has so much length? Absolutely. I mean, all of a sudden a wingspan gets big and you're thinking, man, I gotta hit it past them. And not to mention, they're always moving up there. So you don't know if they're staying, if they're faking, if they're going. So, you know, it takes your eye off the ball and it makes you feel like you have to hit a smaller target. So uh, for Air Force, you know, it's great having that. Oh, we won the first game. Yeah, there. got That's the great. first game. Excellent. Excellent. I am neutral. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's tough like that. And this is where, to me, again, coaching on the sideline. You see the coaches, the head coach, the assistant coach, the volunteer assistant right in on there. I love the coaching on the sideline. Yeah, what is, I think what is, it's awesome. What What is the advantage of having a coach on the sideline? Oh, uh, a different perspective. Yep. You know, when you're playing by yourself out there, you can get in your head and your demons can get you versus you have a coach out there, all of a sudden they can change that dynamic for you and give you something different to focus on, give you a different perspective of like, hey, do this instead, do that instead. And so it can change, really get you out of your own head and uh, give you a much better opportunity to win. So I loved it when they could coach us in the middle of a match. We and loved Bryce, it. Bryce, you're playing other sports. What's it like having coaches when you're playing your baseball in other sports? They're, they help a lot, not just in the game, they help uh, with my life too. They're, they're kind of like a father figure, oh. a mentor. They, they really they really just help a lot. They they don't they worry about your grades too. I mean, they, they check your grades to make oh, sure wow. you They don't just care about what you do on the court or on the field. And what's it like having teammates like they do here? Mm -hmm. Both teams have their teammates on the sideline, fans in the stands. Well, teammates help a lot. They always have your back. And you play with them, so you need to get used to them, talk with them a lot. What a great crowd. I mean, people down here, out here all day, playing, watching. They've had all these activities here at the national campus. Fun day.
Yeah, Stephanie Dolheit serving right now, senior co-captain of this Army squad. Really comes from an athletic family out of Chicago. There's the communication. And her partner was a key contributor for her squad success as a freshman. Yeah, there's, all of them have had so much success on and off the court. Stephanie, your serving care, has a sister Caroline that's on the WTA tour, playing at such a great level, one of the talented Americans. Oh, man, she wanted that volley. She had it perfect right on top of the net. Yep. Yeah. She, was, she was ready to go with it. So they get kind of, a little excited sometimes. Yeah, do you think that's more of a nerves or just like this atmosphere is so positive? Uh, with that shot? Yeah, with that shot, kind you of know, overplaying it. Yeah, you know, I, I think that they just want it so bad. And, you know, there are times your eyeballs just get big out there and you just want to let them eat that ball. And I think it's one of those where you, you're looking at it and you're like, oh, I got this all day long. And unfortunately, it just doesn't go that way. Oh, Stephanie had it going down the line, just a little off balance. She saw an opening, though, that was a little bit tempting. Big hitter, too. So, Con, I do have a question. We talked about the squadrons with the Air Force. You have companies. And so what company were you in? when you were a cadet? So um, you're, you're right, we have, uh, I was in A3 and C3, so I stayed in the same regiment. We have four regiments, one through four, and um, and it was good because every two years we scramble and rotate companies. But different years though, um, some of the cadets actually stayed in the same company all four years, and that, that increased their cohesion and belt there. And then so things change over the years. So Does it depend there. which direction you're going post-career, post-West Point? Not, not at all. In, in fact, I think, I think what they do is they, they look at the diversity, they look at the, um, the background of each cadet coming in, and they do an assessment, more of a talent assessment to make sure all the companies have you know, the, the right oh, position to that. build to build Sorry. them to make each other stronger. Yeah, and you see Chow absolutely go out there and intercept that ball, Julie. You gotta be excited about that. Now this is our first deciding point here on court one. This is number one doubles, Air Force versus Army. Army is serving. And she just needs to get the point started. Get the point started is number one key out there, especially in these doubles. Well, if I, I know the Dolhide family, they like to go for aces. <laughs> and so Stephanie likes the big shot. She's anything like her sisters, who are extremely capable and just fire starters on the court. They have a brother that played golf. High formation. Pull out the lob, change the pace. <laughs> Oh, good move up there. Way to close. She was on top of that net at the end of the point. Yeah, they, there's one thing about the Dolhite family. They love the pressure and give them the big moment. And there's another one, even though it's early on. Look at this replay. And Julie, take us through this. That's punch volley at the end. Amazing. Yeah, you know, she just was moving forward. She was the aggressor. And she did not stop. She ended up closing that net. She closed it you know, in front of her partner and gave her the opportunity to put it away. There's Coach Pack, 498 wins, 26 years as head coach of the West Point Black Knights. And you're gonna hear noise because there are fans up and down this facility. They definitely make a difference. It they is really sold do. out, is yeah. my understanding, which is awesome. So, Con, you'll see the, the Black Knights huddling over there on the return side. What are they talking about? So, really, I, I think it's more, hey, who's, uh, whose court do we need to pay more attention to, give them the support? And then, and also, they're also gaming for the singles matches coming up. Like, hey, you're playing this player. Look at their scouting. Yeah. They're scouting out. Yeah. This is Vivian Glossman. She's had a very interesting career. A blue chip player coming out of juniors. Highly recruited. First went to Cal for transferring to UVA. It's a beautiful return down the line from Vincent. Yeah, Chow moved a little early there. Yep. 
Glossman has been the number one player here in singles for Air Force, doing extremely well. What's ironic is, so she transferred to UVA, had a great career there, and that's a top, top school in the nation. And now starts as a freshman, even though she's out of eligibility after this season. Yeah, it's crazy, you know, any other school you go to, oh, great play. Um, any other school you go to, you transfer in at whatever, whatever grade level you're at here, you are starting all the way over. And it's funny learning about her because Glossman absolutely loves the ability to challenge herself. Why did you choose the academy? I, I want to be at a place that has a purpose and it's just so interesting. And she has a younger sister that's also a blue chip player in the juniors right now. So they're doing something right in that family. Absolutely. Plus a little bit of height. I'll take that too. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> Great for serve. Changing up the pace. A little drop shot. And moving forward, I wonder if that, you know, Julie, when you're at the academy with that altitude, do you naturally go forward more than you would at sea level? So, first of all, Coach Gidley, I mean, she is teaching us to move forward. Um, you know, that's part, that is part of our um, strategy. Here's and some of the courts right now in progress. These are the women's doubles matches in progress. Remember, this is the first of six. One set. Here's the men's scores right now. And we're gonna jump over and see, it's still early but you get a momentum and you have to remember when you're playing, you're not just focused on your match, you're seeing how your teammates doing. You're revving up the crowd. This is court four here, college match day here. Number one doubles, Army is serving two Air Force. Look at this dynamic move. What? That's what a great, that? yeah. Bryce, you gotta like the athleticism from Army. Some people uh, discount how athletic the service academy teams are. They well, really what about the fitness stuff? The stuff they gotta like yeah. carry logs and stuff and boulders? <laughs> Don't they have to do that at the academies? That's why I didn't want to go to the academies. All the boulders you have to mountains you have to climb. You know, you were talking about altitude. One of the things that was is great coming down to, to sea level is you can you can breathe you just don't get out of breath i mean you could probably you could run double time that's a right. mile time or a sprint or whatever you can swing harder at the ball and it goes way in you think it's going to go way out like it would in in colorado so that's right it's uh so it's you're kind mile of fun up having that colorado springs is a mile up yes, right that's from right. sea level yeah if i had my contrails book with me because i've i've that's our little book with all our knowledge in it. Yep. If I had that with me, I could repeat some things to you, but I have blocked that out of my mind. So unfortunately, I can't repeat a lot of those quotes and whatnot that I had to for, you know, four years. <laughs> That's a nice volley, Army then. Yeah, absolutely knocks off that volley right there. And Air Force had no chance to get that. Yeah, the return is a little high. But I love how both teams, I mean, each court is high-fiving each other, communicating with one another. So important to stay positive. Gotta get that point started. Double fault doesn't help anybody. You have to. 40-30 with, and remember, the ad scoring with the deciding point, they still have two game points. In men's doubles, you have to play the left. So there's no do-over on that. So the returning team has got to be ready for that little net cord. You know, Azuma won the uh, Most Improved Player Award in 2019-2020 uh, uh, season. And that's pretty awesome to see because usually when you're playing at the top of, of, the, uh, of the lineup, you're usually not getting somebody who has the most improved. 
And he's consistently posting great wins, great records. So to see somebody working hard, playing at the top of the lineup and just wanting to continue to push is really awesome. It's amazing. Oh, good move. Great oh, volley right wow. There. And you can see Air Force on the attack. And that is an early, early break now to get back on serve. Had the game. And that's a momentum turner right there. It's Absolutely. just when you can absolutely stick it to your op opposition like that and get yourself back on serve. It's a great camera angle. You can really see the speed coming off the rackets. A little serve and volley now. Fans here are so energetic, just amazing. And this is just for one point. That wait till we get into the singles and everything right. starts happening. Yeah. It's just a pleasure to be here with the broadcasting crew and everything. Oh, you do a great job here at the national campus. Definitely. Beautiful scenery in the background. And tennis one app going around the world. To all of our servicemen and women watching this match being represented by the finest we have in this country. 30 love now for Air Force serving. This is number one doubles. Great first volley. Uh, it's really surprising nice how many fans shot. came out here today. Well, they they love their cadets. They really do. The support from both academies is amazing. You want that first serve to go in. You want your partner to finish it at the net. Now, Han, I think that that miss right there is from playing so much indoor tennis and now coming outside and getting, you know, the sun, the elements. It's not that breezy right now, but it's that timing. And I, I think some of the volleys we've seen missed on both the men's and women's side from both teams early on is from the speed of the ball and just dealing with these conditions. Well, I think these courts also play a little slower than they do at the academy too, so definitely timing uh, makes a huge difference. Looks like Air Force women went up 4-1 on the court one and up 3-0 on court three. And you're, everybody's scoreboard watching because it's these big momentum turns. And if your team needs you, it seems like you dig in a little bit more. Air Force men are doing great. Court three up for Oh, what a volley. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> wow, that was great. Con, was that your shot? Uh, Trying no. to go for the opposition? <laughs> Absolutely. <was> a, yep. <clears throat> always always going for it. <laughs> this Look most of the time. Low. Talk about that nice. technique, Con. I mean, how does he get so much leverage on that ball? You know, you see, he's anticipating it, and he's just going for it, and it's just a lot of good timing at the right right time. Get after it. Break point here. Great second serve, up line. There you go. Yeah, great, that's a great play. Great play. Yeah. Well, now another opportunity, just pressure all over the place. And you see the coaches go right out there. Dan Oosterhaus played at Air Force. He was an extraordinary player himself at number one singles, has the fifth most wins in Air Force men's tennis history. Second most in doubles at the number one position. And coaching now as the head coach at Air Force for 13 seasons. Yeah, he's really made a big difference for the men's team when he took over from the previous coach. The previous coach, uh, Gugat, was there for, oh boy, a really long time. And he did a great job with the program, but uh, it's great Air seeing Booster House in there, um, being a great competitor and uh, taking it to his guys. And there's Coach Jim Poling after 20 seasons. He knows what he's talking about, calming his side down. And here's a better look. Look at this. All the way, all six courts, doubles, flying around with volleys and serves. Way to, moving forward. Air Force moving forward through the ball. Makes a huge difference. 
Now you know Coach Poling's retiring this year. Yeah, 20 years. Yeah. It's a it's a huge change. So I, when I uh, when I was playing, Coach Poling came in and saw a big difference between him and, and the previous coach. We brought the two teams together before, like you mentioned earlier, teams are pretty divided to hey, this is the men's lane and the women's lane. But it, uh, he felt that uh, that camaraderie between the two teams is amazing. Now we're going to court two women's doubles right now, and things are getting very interesting. Army just took the lead. 4-3 now for the Black Knights. Airmans and Jackson with that lead, and it's that seventh, eighth game when you start to feel, okay, who's going to really separate and pull away? And Julie, you know, what is your thought process as a team when you, whether you're up 4-3 or down 4-3, you know, this is kind of the business end of these sets. Oh, yeah. So as Coach would say, you start to play harder every point. This is not a time to sit back, relax. You are sticking to the plan and continuing to uh, move forward. Yeah, two Floridians right here. Harriman's from Florida. Jackson, local girl. So it's fun to not only play in the Sunshine State, but be in front of friends and family. And the, just the intensity, you can just feel it out here. You can feel it in the air. You really can, because the teams know this is really where who's going to win and lose this doubles point. Fitch serving now. Second serve. That's that hybrid I formation. It's a double fault. You don't want to be throwing those doubles. That's too much charity. That's right. All the work and time was put into this. And now we're just showing right now. Oh, wow. With the pressure on that him, look at that. That was an incredible <laughs> angle that there. Was a monster. Air Force was trying to squeeze her, and she went back the other way. And These are two freshmen angle. for West Point. Two freshmen. Look at this in a far court. Amazing line shot. Yep. Going for it. Right on the line. Yeah. Air Force didn't do anything about it. Big moments now. Love 30. Army taking the momentum. Yeah, I do feel a little, little slight momentum change here. Oh, ripping it and ripping it. They just got that point back. It's a 15-30. Remember, this is no ad scoring. So every point has a little bit more pressure, has a little bit more purpose. Oh, what a poach. Yep. Way to take time away. And see, after every point, you'll see some of the coaches get out there, make sure they're running the play, they're setting things up. The leadership is really just amazing from the coaches. And it's just how the players take the leadership too, the coaching, and they work together as a team. You don't see that in other divisions, other levels of tennis, whether the pros or juniors. Both of these teams are very fortunate to have these coaches with outstanding coaching staff. Absolutely. We did the, the math, I think, between the four coaches, 1,244 wins between the four. That's just outstanding. <laughs> 83 years of head coaching experience at the two academies. Oh, she was there for that volley. How do you, so what do you do when you're a coach on that? You just make sure you get low, watch the ball. Pressure now on the Air Force Academy. This is court two, women's doubles. Still break point. Fitch serving. You 
you can feel the pressure just coming down on the players right now. Fitch is a junior, part of the 27th Squadron Thunderbirds. I love all the names, the names. Oh, the and they all have sayings too. Don't let anybody fool you. <laughs> Everybody has a little saying. And some of them I can remember, some of them I can't, but so much creativity in this. Yeah, that's a power right. shot. And look at right away. There's your break. Taking over the net. Yeah, 5-3. Air Force is moving back. Army moving forward. Here are the men's scores right now. Wow. On court six, you can see Air Force has already taken that point. 6-1. And now you start looking across the board. Air Force has that 4-2 lead with Krawitz and Kirsten. You can see the crowd is just absolutely locked into the pressure. Here back at court two. The serving for the set. Uh. Almost got it. Mm -hmm. Just a little too high and tried to go for a little too much. A lob is definitely one of our uh, strategy, strategy shots that we use on a regular basis for Air Force women. Oh, pulled go. off of that. So now a real opportunity for Air Force to get back on serve. Slice return, changed up the pace. And Julia really does seem Air Force is the one trying to take the initial attack to Army here. Absolutely. Um, Coach Gidley's pretty crafty. Uh, and, you know, change of pace, closing, lobs are all things that are implemented in every single point just about. Yeah, all the, the entire Army squad staying at local housing. It was really organized by Paige Harriman's mom which is just amazing. That goes, a lot of work goes into housing these cadets. Wow, great hands there. Oh. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's the elements. Yeah. That, that is a, looks a lot easier, and now a break point. Yeah. Air Force capitalizing on an unforced air. One more ball. Always trying to get back. One more ball, however we can, doesn't matter. That pressure serve, that second serve. Look at that formation from Air Force. Putting on the squeeze. Yeah, what a way to come back after missing an easy overhead to stick that volley, that's confidence. Yeah. Now we not only have a game point, we have a set point. Everyone taking their time, making sure they have the play set up where they want to serve and where they want to return, how they want their partner at the net to play. This is the matchup you want if you're Army. That lefty serve going wide, that slider. Mm. Uh, great volley. Way to close that point. Impressive. Two freshmen. That's amazing. Great match. Jackson from Tampa, Florida, just a freshman. Harriman's a freshman from right here in Orlando. Right. The little lefty comes out and knocks it off for Army. And now we got a ball game, but Air Force leading here at number one doubles. Match point. Dole Hyde and Vincent, co-captains here for Army. Vincent from Pacific Palisades in California. Stephanie Dolehide from Hinsdale, Illinois, won the last year's Arthur Ashe Leadership and Sportsmanship Award for the ITA. 
great first serve. Having a person like that on your team is very valuable. Great hands up at the net there. You don't go to Dolhide. I mean, that's that's rule great number hands. one on the WTA tour. <laughs> Just, <laughs> that family knows how to play big moments, big points. Vincent serving now, bottom of your screen. Glossman returning now for Air Force. Another set point. Both players back for Air Force. today, but that's 6-2 for Air Force. John Glossman win it. And it's making things very interesting now. It's going to come down to three doubles, and Air Force has a 4-2 lead in that match. This is the women's duel that you see right here. The men are also competing right next to them. You look how close in Alex is there on her returns. She's taking them on the rise, taking the time away. Here are the men's scores now. You can see court three, three doubles, Air Force one at 6-1, but we have a rock fight at one and two. Yeah, court one, deciding point, uh, double faulted. So right. much energy in the crowd. Yeah, absolutely. You can see everyone following the scores up and down the lineup. Air Force now with a 5-3 lead. This is court four. Air Force with a 5-3 lead. This is number one doubles. You're just tuning in. Lake Nona, USA National Campus, college match day. Air Force versus Army. Tennis One's coverage of this great duel. We're about to start our hot change between courts four and five as we start to see this duel really heat up here in the men's doubles. Air Force has a point in hand, but Army is on the attack. Oh, wow. wow. Great return. Down the line, backhand. It just amazes me how much accuracy these people have. Oh, they've been playing their whole lives. Yeah, Bryce. Absolutely. It's just a commitment. It is not a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be baseball for you one day. That's right, that's right. Oh, that's great. a beautiful poach on that. Beautiful. And Bryce, what's the one thing that pops out at you when you're watching these pressure players playing in such big moments? I think the one thing that pops out to me really is how much energy the crowd has. That's like a big factor, right? Yeah. It can really lift your side. And it's almost like it's balanced. We have as many Army fans as we do Air Force fans. And when one side takes the momentum, you can just hear the other side quiet. Serving for the point now. Oh, that nice poach, again. yeah. You and can that's, feel Air Force's momentum. Yeah, yeah, poach is off a nice kick serve. This is to take the doubles point here for Air Force. <laughs> Yep, this is for the doubles point. First serve gives them an advantage. Good oh, what a lob. Way to get to that. Oh, what an incredible That's, lob. That is the, lob. Yeah, that point was for the entire doubles point, and they hit that lob in that corner. Wow. Go back to your routine. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
Johnson at point number two. Great first serve. Huge, huge first serve. Yeah, the Falcons pull that one out 6-3 and take the doubles point over the Black Knights of West Point. In doubles, the first serve is so incredibly critical. It gives you such an advantage. That's so huge for Air Force. Just gives them momentum. Ooh. And the women are still battling. It is great. Air Force and Army. Yeah, well, this is set point to take the point in this duel. Great teamwork with the serve and then the net player closing in. What's cool is watching all the men coming over now and they're gonna be cheering on, uh, you know, their respective teams. Yeah, for this we saw that in the, match. It's really in the cool. huddles and the warmups. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's on the men's side, Air Force. Uh, great, Air Force Finish angle. Doubles. Yep. That will lead into our singles, and we won't start singles until the women finish the doubles point, and then there will be a 10-minute break to prepare for singles. We'll have all 12 courts playing, six women's matches, six men's matches. This is, this is for the point, everybody. Air Force serving. You can just the see four three lead. Sorry about that, Bryce. You can just see the, the their teammates on the side of the courts and everything, supporting their team. Now there's a rule you can yeah, you notice how they are a court away. Back in the day when, when we played, you could get right up on that sideline. And so they the ITA's backed that rule up so the teams can't get too close and interfere with play. That was definitely a good idea. That's a, that's five, three. So, so Julie, on this replay, what really worked for Air Force? Well, they kept the point going and then Alex stayed in there, um, you know, expecting the ball to come to her and she, st she stood in there and went after it. So Con, what do you do now? What do you do if you're Army? I mean, you're down five, three, deciding point for the doubles point, what is your advice for your cadets? You just gotta stay in the stay in it point one point at a time and just stick with what you've got and go go for the serve and just focus, you know, on every point. Every point counts. What was Coach Beck talking to his players about? I mean, you work with them, you played for them. He, you know, he's he's a big into strategy. You know, you go into the right strokes going. You're not hidden at the player at the net, and you gotta just. Play that game that you practice every day. You know the the down the lines and the cross courts that make make your your game work. Yeah. You don't change it up in the middle of the match. Yeah. Stick with what you got and work on that the strategy points that we we work at. You know during practice. Great return. Oh, oh well, it is. Yeah, you can Sorry, see. That. It really is coming down to who can really connect on the swings. Mm -hmm. Delcy, a, a freshman, wants to go into potentially civil engineering. Uh, what an incredible return down the line. Yeah. Stepped in on it, took it early. Delcy, look at it. This girl. Look at her. Air power! On her last jump to qualify for jump school, her parachute did not deploy. She had to use her reserve chute. <laughs> so, Let me tell you, that's a little scary. I'm yeah. not gonna lie to you. <laughs> she is locked in, okay? A, a tennis ball or a pressure point is not going to bother her at all. That's right. Uh, that was a great shot. Nice and low at Pooh's feet. But how about the quality of play? It's just absolutely unbelievable from all four competitors here. Yep, they're making every point count. Every point is monumental to them. Oh, 
uh, way to be ready for that. She was ready for that. She was ready, absolutely. Stood in there. And there's that move and counter move you're talking about. You know, Coach Pack being so locked into the strategy and reading what the other side's doing. advantage getting a little tighter now out there five four yeah so julie on the sideline you know what has to happen from the coaching perspective as we see this replay well i mean to me i think alex needs to uh you know she's that last one she sliced it she's trying to take it early which i get but she's leaving it too high for the uh for the net people to be able to go ahead and, and take and so you know, I'm going to say that coach is, you know, going to tell her, hey, you got to keep that ball low. And I think Haley's been hitting the ball pretty well, but maybe change it up a little bit more. She's tried to go down the line probably on, I think, about three points of that game. So I think that the net person's starting to expect that from her. And that's assistant coach Martha Rowley. Her husband is actually assistant coach on the men's side. And so a real family affair to see these cadets working with such great experienced coaches. Army men and women just locked into this pressure. And here's Air Force. This is such a great experience. It's a true team effort out there. Wow. Way to be ready. That was a huge overhead. They left that ball in the air too long. That ball was in the air way too long. Yeah, knocked it off for the winner. Spiked it down. A little bit of eye formation. Great return. Powerful return down the line. Yeah, Putting Paula the pressure Bo on. Absolutely locked it. She ripped that ball. Their teamwork is just amazing. Well, they're talking every single point. It's important to have that communication. That's a good lob. Yeah, that was oh, tough. Yeah. She had a lot of courage to go for it. Yeah. That was close to the line, too. Yeah, it just didn't have enough spin to bring it back down. Kenzie from La Kenyatta. Paula Bo now returning there. You see in the ad court, this lefty, senior, it's a two-sport athlete in high school, played volleyball as well as tennis. Ripping that backhand. Nice deep shot there. Last season, she had an 11 and three record. Uh-oh, just wide. Yeah, That's just a little wide. The fan energy is coming up right now. Well, you know the doubles point is coming down to this. Air Force is serving for it. Brought it back to 30 all. So much tension in the air right now. Starting to get loud. Yeah, Mackenzie now on her toes, getting ready for this big shot. She's been going down the line through this match.
Yeah, great look at the crowd here on the tennis Not one app empty here. seats, standing room only. Everybody's fired up and focused here. Ooh, off the net. Oh, yeah, way to step yeah. in. That was a great step in from Haley. Air Force crowd electric right now. It must be so exciting to be on that court right now. And nerve-wracking. Can't imagine how it feels. That's a nice high ball right there. So much time and effort put into this. It's just so amazing. Way to step in and take that overhead. That's a nerve-wracking overhead to hit right there. And remember, she, she just missed one. Absolutely. She just missed one to have the courage to go up there and get it. She left that ball in the air. Yeah. And she made her pay for it. Deciding point now. We have a game point and a set point riding on this. Air Force can take the point, the doubles point, and go into singles one lock. The men's team has already done that. Everybody's on their feet. Right up Receiving teams, choice of side. This is a big serve. Definitely nerve wracking. There you go. Oh, great volley. Wow. Hey, if you jump out of airplanes, you, you can, can hit a volley on set point. You got that right. That was huge. That is a fantastic <laughs> shot to bail out your teammate. Amy Army made him play. You know, an Air Force won. Um, it was it was a great match. Nobody gave it to the other person or to the other team. They had to show up and play and win. We still have singles. Oh, this I'm is so excited. Yeah. <laughs> so look at this. Both sides going to regroup now. Here's the replay on this. Yeah, Haley was just so clutch. And you want the pressure, you don't. You can see she's absolutely going after it. And if you watch them, when they're, when they're playing their points, you know, Let's say Alex misses a first serve, they go up, they high-five, they have the same exact routine. They do every single time when they're serving, when they're returning, and that's their consistency. That's their, uh, their way to kind of keep the calm. Yeah, so both uh, Air Force lead on the men's side and women's side won love after the doubles competition. And here's on the, this is the men's side. So, Khan, I have to ask you, you know, former captain of the, the Army women, you know, what's got to happen in that huddle right now? It's not over yet. It is not over. you got to stay, stay focused. And really, the singles, you know, you have a huge opportunity. You, you, it's, it's those things where you get... Do you, you were talking about earlier in these huddles. Now, you're taking a lot of scouting information. You go down the singles lineup and say, oh, you played so-and-so. Okay, I played her in doubles. She likes her forehand, likes her backhand. Go through that. How much strategy is going into that compared to the the motivation of, listen, we're down or we're up and moving forward tactically? Oh, uh, absolutely. The girls are, are thinking about it. And, and, you know, sometimes the coaches, too, they line them up based on their strengths and weaknesses and, and um, based on what they've, they've been playing and how, how good they've been you know, playing through the year, um, the season. So I, I think it's it's important now that they, they stay focused and go out there and get after it. All right, well, we're going to uh, take a little break. Where players are going to take a little break and get ready for singles. We come back on the Tennis One app here at the USCA National Campus. Singles matches. We got 12 of them. Stay tuned.
All right, let's do this. Big trio. What's that? We're the trio. Welcome back to Lake Nona, Florida. It's the USCA National Campus, and it's a very special college match day celebrating the Military Academy's Air Force versus Army here. And we've already completed the doubles. This is the women's. Air Force is up one love after taking the doubles point. And we have six singles matches going on. We're going straight to court number one. Army about to serve. Yeah, that's the great Stephanie Dolehide, winner of the Arthur Ashe Award for the ITA Leadership and Sportsmanship Award. So this is a really tough time of day. The sun is going down. The lights are going to be going on. Yeah, that's the wrong score. We're having technical difficulties. We're going to straighten that up. And this is going to be a real good one because both these players are seasoned. They absolutely are confident coming in with winning records. I think the wind will the wind will play a factor in this. Absolutely. And it just picked up, really. It and just did. And I think the conditions, things getting cold. We talked about in the break, uh, once that sun goes down, it gets a little colder. So, Julie, how does this affect the conditions of the ball? We talked about the wind, but how, how do we now shift from the intensity of the doubles to now two out of three set singles match? Absolutely. So now it's going to be a little bit of a, you know, get the grind, get the, get the point started, and set up your point. You're going to play your strategy. Um, the one awesome, th well, not the one, there are many awesome things about the Air Force Academy, but one thing that is great in practice is that we have unbelievable wind. And our coach makes us go out and practice in that 100 mile an hour wind. <laughs> I swear it's 100 miles an hour. But man, she t has us hit lobs, we hit, you know, power shots, we hit soft shots, we hit everything. And it just gives you such an incredible comfort level that you now all of a sudden use the wind as a uh, weapon versus it being something negative that you're dealing with. Vivian Glossman from the Air Force in the far court there knocking off that volley. He was a blue chip player coming out of the junior ranks. Started out at Cal, transferred to the University of Virginia before landing here at the Air Force Academy and starting a new journey in her life and wanted the adventure and the discipline of the academy. I love her story. I mean, yeah. and, and it's very rare you get a story like that. Really, the only other story I usually see like that is maybe somebody enlisted and they've served for a few years and then decided, you know what, I want to go to the academy, I want to become an officer. But to see somebody having gone to multiple other schools, played incredible Division One tennis, and then decide, I want to go serve my country, I want to go play tennis for the Air Force Academy, or I mean, it would be any of the academies, you know, it is just, A, it, you know, helps our team, but man, I just think it's an incredible story and it tells a lot about her as a person too. And it talk really about does. the a, a commitment. A lot of people don't, I mean, this is so different. You're not signing up for the four years. You're signing up for a commitment post That's correct. Your, your experience at the academy. Talk about that. Yeah, so uh, what you're gonna have post academy is if you're not flying, um, you're going to have a five-year commitment. And then if you, at a minimum. So at least that's what it's been. So I don't know if that's changed here in the last year or so. But uh, if you do decide to go to pilot training and fly, uh, you then have, I think it's an eight-year commitment still now. So, you know, it's longer. Now, the other thing you can do is potentially go to school, get your master's or get your... Um, you know, become a doctor, go to you know, go to um, med school, whatever, and that also is going to increase your commitment, of course. But you know, at a minimum, if you're just doing kind of like the basics of either staying in, just staying in or or flying, those are your two options, really. And con for the military with West Point, what is that kind of com you know commitment when you sign up right out of high school? Oh, no, absolutely. The, uh the thing with the Army, unlike, you know, the aircrafts, with, you're dealing with people. So Army's about people, and when you first get out, whether whatever branch um, you're, you're in, either HR to being an infantry uh, infantryman or an armor officer, you're, you're, you have a platoon. So you're working with uh, uh, about 15, 20 troopers, and you are the platoon leader. Later on, you, you progress to be a company commander. So you're dealing, you're working with people. Um, that leadership uh, skills that you develop and experience at West Point will carry you 
on and then, then you have, the Omri gives you opportunities for broadening. So you can go get your grad degrees, very similar to, to all the other uh, services, um, service academies. And then you can, like, like my path, I went to get my master's in kinesiology and went back to West Point to teach. Mm, interesting. So I came back and, and taught, served, um, spent a couple of years there, and then they, they send you back out to, um, to the, the ground troops again. Yeah. So do what, what we're, um, you know, what we're trying to do. And, now, and then you get command opportunities after that. Both of you were accepted junior players that's how you got the opportunity to play at your academies but my question is as we start to unroll these singles matches and everything how did you go the mindset from being a junior tennis player now talk about how the training and the discipline of being at the academies served you well on the tennis court Julie you want to well, start? Well yeah. sure I mean you you're going to the academy and you have, well first of all basic training teaches you a lot because all of a sudden you have no say, they tear you down, and then they build Even you. Even an athlete like yourself, Absol that's, absolutely. It's, it's a lot tougher than you oh, think. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, it's kind of 24 seven, except when you're sleeping and you're always exhausted. Yeah. I mean, I would stand up in the back of my classes or any time just to stay awake, and I would fall asleep falling down the, f the wall. <laughs> wow. And, and Con, that, what was your um, experience? Mental, yeah, yeah how it helped your tennis. Yeah. is incredible. Yeah. Um, and they, they like, like what Julie said, said, you know, they tear you down and they build you back up again. And then it's, but that spirit stays with you and it's that never quit. Yeah. You, you never quit and that carries on the court, that carries on the playing field because you remember that, you know that you've got to fight through the advers adversaries that, uh, advers you know, what your your challenges and, and whatnot, and you just got to fight, fight through it, struggle, and, yeah. and get after it. Never quit and just go after it and win. And here are some of the men's matches right now. Air Force is up on the men's side, one love, and you can see they're just early on. These are going to be two out of three set matches. Now, I will say the first team to four points, and then the match will be over. So you start kind of scoreboard watching a little bit. See Waldman out there, early three love lead. Uh, commenting on what Khan was saying and just following up on, you know, the tearing down. Not only do they build you back up, but they build you up as a team. And I think, you know, again, playing sports, it, you already have that concept a little bit of a team. Um, so that but plays... But it's a different tennis because we're such an individual sport. That's true. Compared, absolutely. You know, baseball, that oh, yeah. Absolutely. We have so much more of an individual component, especially having played juniors. I mean, you really, truly get the team component when you're in college more than anything else. I mean, you might have a little bit in high school, but, I mean, it's nothing like what it is in college, that team component. But, you know, the academies, when they're building you up, they teach you that team component, with, like how to support that person. I mean, you don't go anywhere without, you know, that last person in yep. your group. Yep. You know, you're only as strong as that person. And so, you know, you, you learn so many great things um, about yourself, about others, how to work with others. It stays with you the rest of your life. Well, you can see the fans are still staying and it's starting to get a little chilly. And the, But the intensity, everyone's trying to tell you, trying to rally their side air force with the early overall lead and both the men's and women's side winning the doubles point but early on in these singles matches this is men's singles number one they want serving now two one a break and game points to take a three lot three one lead you can really tell the air force has the momentum right now yeah you know what they seem a little bit more confident right now in these rallies and you know we got not only the match we're looking on the screen but we're looking across all the courts, the six in front of us, the six behind us. And you know, the first few games, it's like you were talking about earlier, Luke, is there's an adjustment getting being made right now. You, A, the lighting. Yep. I mean, to me, it's, maybe it's me being older, but <laughs> no when chance. the sun goes down and the lights come on, it's like that tweener time that you can't see. Well, I can't see anything. Now, for them, that might be different, but you have that, you have the wind, you know, it's just it's just different, and now you have a different strategy out there too. I was talking to some of the coaches, and, and one of the things they said when they're recruiting is they don't publicize if they get a commitment, a verbal commitment, because each cadet from both West Point and the uh, Air Force Academy got to pass their medical. That is the kicker, and you're like these great athletes. You would think, like, wait a second, they'd be able to see, be able to run, and do it, but no, like a lot of kids 
they, there's so, a condition that they didn't even realize that washes or comes out in the medical. So talk about that, Connor, that, you know, these cadets, you put your life and you put all these, go through the steps, and then you realize, like, holy cow, there's something in me where I don't qualify. Luke, you're, you're so right. That was me. I went, when I was uh, applying for West Point, you know, coach got me in. I thought everything was uh, easy peasy, but no. Came back with the medical. I had a, a slight slick astigmatism in my eye wow so the doc came back and said hey i'm, I'm sorry you don't qualify yeah and then so we had to work through um, the admissions um, process to, yeah. to make sure everything and get another second assessment I gotcha. with the eye doctor and, and, and it's a whole process it's a whole process and then they realized hey this is you know yeah. fixable it's not gonna um stop affect, affect yeah us from uh, admitting her. And so. Julie, do you get that intensity as a recruit? You're like, man, I hope I pass through the medical portion of it. Yeah, I, definitely. I, did, I didn't think as much of the medical as our physical fitness tests that we had to take to get in. I mean, I think it's changed because I think some of the things they were trying to have us do, like we had to do X amount of pull-ups. Oh, yeah, yeah. What are we going to do all these pull-ups? Yeah. I mean, especially as a female, mm -hmm. we have a weaker upper body. We got, we can, we have strong legs and strong abs. We can do that all day long. Yeah, yeah. But so it took a lot of training to be able to pass that test all of a sudden. And they have modified it over and, the years. Yeah. yeah. And I think that they have, which is great. Um, I, I think it makes more sense now for actually stuff you're going to do versus yeah. it just be, yeah, hey, this is tradition. This yeah. is what we've done. This is why you got to do it. So there's just so many requirements that go into this. Yeah, and just that we talked about consistently already in this broadcast, the hard work that they put in. I mean, the academy is saying they're up at 5, 5.15, and start their, and by the time they get to practice, they've already put in, you know, 12 hours mm -hmm. of work. I mean, you're mentally exhausted, too. Yeah, yeah. You're not just physically exhausted, you're mentally exhausted, because you're showing up. You may not have slept very well, you got tests, you got studying. But it pays off in situations like this. It makes us mentally tough. I mean, all the academies. If other schools don't like playing the academies because we're scrappy, we're mentally tough. They know they have to show up. We might be in maybe a quote unquote easy win for them on paper, but I will tell you, we are not an easy win for them on the court. We, they have to show up and play. Otherwise we will take advantage of it all day long. The academies really play their hearts out. We're going to continue following all the matches here. Air Force up 3-1. Balon returning here in the near court. Oh, nice ace. These matches are a really big deal. Yeah, no, they, they put so much time and effort to get to this level of play and, and playing another academy. Lots of bragging rights. Absolutely. <laughs> and next year, we're playing... Navy here. Air Force is playing Navy here. So I am incredibly excited about that because we have never played Navy. Is ever. That right? So when I started at the Academy in 96, um, Navy only had a uh, club team. They didn't have an intercollegiate team. So I think they had an intercollegiate team after I graduated, but we've never played them ever. So this will be really awesome. Well, I know Army and Navy play in the Patriot League and That's, oh, just missed that backhand. And now we're looking at another break of serve for Air Force and Balon clearly on a roll right now. 4-1, men's singles number one. We're gonna go to court nine now and switch over to the women's side. And it's a really cool story. Paige Hiramens, just a freshman for here in the, the, the past week has been very interesting. Just, the families that have housed the Army's women's team. Look at this. Oh, that's great. Yeah, Stephanie Dolhide, yeah. 
It's definitely a family. I mean, and it's extended family. It really is. Everybody works hard to take care of each other. And you're, it, it is no small feat to it's house all these girls. It's, but it's you understand awesome. You understand the journey. You understand the commitment, the sacrifice. Yeah. There's Paige Harriman's right there. This lefty has just been fantastic. Just from around the corner here. Of Florida native, yeah. Florida crafty lefty. And the four one two. I mean, this is great. Exactly what Army needs to stay in this match after Air Force took that doubles point. You know, not, not a lot of folks realize, but uh, the budget that these service academies oh, yeah. have um, sometimes not very. Uh, mm. not it's hard. it's so not a lot. Like, You're right. So when we go uh, to different uh, locations to play for tournaments, it's so important that uh, the team sponsored by families, so especially when we were playing, Julian yeah. and Matt, we didn't have any. <laughs> we had no money. Uh, no money we all. turned our uniforms in at the end of every year. Oh well, that's an NC2A rule, though. That's everywhere across the board. Is it? It was when I was coaching. Well, it's not now. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to wear other people's sweaty stuff anymore. <laughs> oh, we'll just be quiet on that one. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but I, I will say that what these teams do when they travel is they represent the nation. They represent their academies, and, and they really inspire the Bryce generations and everybody else that look at these just extraordinary human beings that have done so much more than the normal kid that goes to a normal college and has a normal college experience. This is for the extraordinary. Impairments now up 4-1, but 30 all returning. You can see the coaches on both sides looking all over the course. You can see that breeze really rippling down there um, on shirts and whatnot, so it has to be a factor for, uh, for these men and women. Being a coach is so important. Yeah, because you're really leading them through some tough waters, some tough times under pressure. Oh, there's a shank right there. And you really act like a leader to the whole team. Oh, yeah. You know, from my experience in um, going from juniors to college, Coach taught me how to, she taught me strategy for the first time. Um, you know, besides hit the ball over the net, hit more balls over the yeah, net, yeah. you know, get your first serve in. Um, she taught me an actual strategy to go out and play at, on every point. And it was so awesome to finally see um, tennis broken down in that way, where I could actually focus on something, like I had a plan every single point. So, you know, coaches are really important because they're changing, they're changing the mental strategy of their people that come in and, um, you know, teaching them to be winners. Exactly. You see Alex Koo now returning for Air Force. Look how close she is. Taking this, it on the rise. Yeah, seeing your captain talking about some intimidation. Oh, and gets the double Look off that, of that. Though. Oh, wow. That's what she, I mean, she stands in tight on her returns, Koo does. And, you know, it's a Coach Gidley special right there, taking it on the rise, taking time away. Look at Jim Poling, 20th season. This is retiring after this year's head coach. He's out of Orlando here, played at Rawlings, coached at Rawlings, had a great career, and then before going up to Army and, and serving as their head guy for the tennis team on the men's side. You can really tell how much he's done with the community. Yeah, 288 wins. Look at that, six Patriot League titles. Coach of the year six times. That's incredible. That's the biggest thing is so, so respected in the coaching community. Always has a smile on his face. Look at the intensity he has. I mean, it just, he's watching every point, every swing. We're going to bounce over to court four now. Coach Bowen is watching this match right now. And, you know, just the intensity. And, and the reason he's there is because his guy is down 5-1. And that's the number one singles. And he wants to sit there. And this set's probably over. But as a coach, you sit there and try to build a strategy moving forward. And, you know, find another way to lose. Let's, let's get in there and dig out ways to win some points. Another strategy to be successful. 
And that's what's so amazing about having a coach on, on the court is they are able to change that momentum for you. Yeah, Hootie Pan is a senior, also a captain. Diego is from Los Angeles, California, six foot, 165, flying all over the court. Had a great career at West Point. So what you're really trying to do is lock in your game, trying to get some type of momentum going into the second set. Yeah, these are the two captains going nose to nose against one another. Robert Baylon, a senior, nickname is Bert. Buena Park, California. What's it like being seniors? And you've gone through all the work and all the sacrifice, and now, you know, you're you're playing out your final season before you really dive into your commitment. It's bittersweet. I mean, you finally get to take a breath a little bit because, you know, you're at the top of the food chain at that point. But are you on the flip side, beyond? Are you like visioning of where I'm going, where I'm being deployed? Well, you know, well, you may not know where you're being deployed. You know where you're going to be stationed because okay. you end up picking that, um, you know, probably in the first quarter, I that think, branch, of your senior the, year. Yeah, absolutely. There's so much pressure and stress. On, your, on you, and then you're carrying the team. And then on top of that, there's a lot of requirements for graduation. Yeah. So you're prepping for, hey, you know. Are the both academies similar that way, or both do it differently? I, I think it's similar, right? Probably. I mean, I, I put in a lot of time and effort. I did summer classes every oh, wow. summer, my, okay. every single summer, because I kind of wanted a little bit of a lighter load my senior year, so I could kind of take a little bit of a breath. So, you know, I was able to really, I went down and I practiced with coach for an hour prior to every practice. So, you know, I put in extra time in tennis and I gave myself that opportunity to be able to do that. Um, you know, but your pick, so it's nice, you kind of know where you're going, but on the flip side, you're also saying goodbye to what you know. And it's, and th this has become your family. And it's like, oh my gosh, I'm on to my next adventure. Am I gonna like it? Am I gonna be good at it, you know? But it's uh, it's bittersweet. I mean. Uh, what was your experience as a senior then? Well, I, I, uh, I have to tell you, it, it was. And you two were captains. Me. That was, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, for me, it was, it was stressful because I, um, just all the, the pressure, and then plus I was, I was getting married right after graduation. So that, yeah, that's the that, Okay, Fred that's a huge stress, stress. I gotta tell you. Born at West Point. And that's right, Fred was born at West Point. But it's, it's after that that you're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna graduate and then get married the next day. Yeah. Wow, oh my gosh, I can't, uh, so I gotta tell you, I can't imagine that stress. <laughs> <laughs> And when you watch these matches, you can tell how intense it is. Yeah. Like you can just see it in the air. I, I, I thought before they were really, uh, before the match, all four teams were just so locked into their pregame rituals and mm -hmm. routines. And, and Fitch right now taking a 5-1 lead at women's two singles. Vincent now really having to pull into another level here, going to the coach. Find a strategy, find a way, and and Julie, what do you do if you're Vincent? What do you do if you're five one? How, how do you kind of like kind of get your best game out there? Yeah, you know, obviously, what you're doing now isn't working, so it's time to start thinking, what can I do differently? What can I bring out, you know, to change the pace, to change the momentum? Do I need to? Um, you know, hit higher, deeper balls? Do I need to maybe hit some slices and change up the pace? You know, start trying to look for a little bit of a weakness that maybe you can start to exploit. And, you know, a second set always changes a little bit of the momentum. You know, it's like your fresh start. So, you know, you never know what's gonna happen in a second set. A fresh start is really refreshing sometimes. Yes, it is. Oh, what an what incredible lob from Fitch. 
Defensive lob is beautiful. Yeah, and, and Vincent couldn't play that point any better. I mean, no. came in a nice approach at Caroline, hit the solid volley nice and deep, but get really beat by the lob. Yeah. The Air Force team got the lobs down. Oh, <laughs> let, let me tell you, we practice lobs. Oh that I know. Cindy Finch is a four-star recruit uh. out of out of the juniors. Really built her game around toughness and a nice mindset. Very consistent. What an incredible deep return yeah. there from Fitch. I mean, unfortunately, Vincent, th you know, it caught her back. There wasn't anything she could do with it. Yeah, Sydney's a junior. Her uncle went to the Air Force Academy also, so had a connection there to the Academy. From San Antonio, Texas. I mean, she's staying warm, staying on her toes. Absolutely. Continue moving around. Yeah. Going to court three now. Oh, Air Force up five three. Potential set, set point. Set point and game point. Yeah. Setting point. I think uh, the point prior to this. Um, let's see here. The um, West Point player. Sorry, I don't have the name in front of me. Anyways, she just hit a tight ball down the line. Oh, look at that. She's happy she won that there. She had felt like she got cheated on the point prior to that. So, well, I'm sure a, that was redeeming for takes her. Takes a lot of guts to go for Absolutely. that shot, too. Holy cow. That was set point for Air Force. Look at this. So how does this set up? When, when you set, have an easy shot, but it's windy to hit Good that corner her. pocket. And you can clearly see how proud coaches of her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Heck, yeah. You can see it on her face. Coaches are talking their strategy. Over. Yeah, that's Coach Rowley. See, this is just outstanding, just the intensity. Look at it, running to the sideline, showing the fitness, the strength, the enthusiasm. I think she's a little fired up from a call that she thinks was in. <laughs> Sometimes that and, can happen. And absolutely, it changes your momentum for you. Jackson now serving to stay in the first set. You can see all the hard work on her face, all the sweat. Yep. Cooper is Tampa, Florida, Floridian. Just a freshman. Boys, that's been a momentum turning. The last Absolutely. three or four points, it just seems like a different match now. We're off the court 12 now. We're going to bounce back to the men's singles. Zuma takes the first set 6 3 for the Air Force Academy. And you start just getting a feeling that Army is really on their heels. You get a feeling the Air Force is going to run away with this one. Yeah. It, I don't know. There are a couple. I'm going to tell you. There are a couple of sets that are a couple of matches that Air Force is down. It's maybe lost the first set. So, you know, it's it's still in play out there. Yeah, it really is. And it can happen so fast. Yeah. And it's only a first set. We're playing, you know, they got another set. And we're a third set tie break here, right? Uh, no, play, play it out. Oh, they'll play yeah, it out. Play okay, it out. good. Yeah. That's a good get there by Jackson. All the work they put in for this moment right now. Oh, great move in. Great volley. Oh, just good a job, little bit Air wide, Force. yeah. The 
energy's electric right now. Yeah, that scoreboard's off on, yeah. We're on now, Jackson serving at 4-5, but 30-15. That was just long. All right, 40-15 double game point. Jackson getting that some of that momentum back. Yeah, that's playing with a lot of positivity right now. Just a big serve, that motion is nice. Great second serve. Deep pace, spin. You can tell she's so concentrated right now. Uh, incredible down the line there from. Yeah, and considering it's how windy Trout. it is, normally you bring in your margins. That shows a lot of confidence. Yes. It's such a big moment to be going for those those well, angles and absolutely, those Absolutely, especially on that line there, the wind is blowing in that direction. So, I mean, you're really playing some thin margins with hitting down that line there. I just love watching, reading these bios. Cooper Jackson here serving, was a member of the National Honor Society in high school. And absolutely awesome to see such high achievers. Did you realize she and Paige were best friends? Before the that. Academy? Wow. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Oh, that'd be so cool to go yeah, and play tennis the with yours. Yeah, oh, my gosh. The juniors, the game, and, and Cooper's brother, Chance, uh, plays basketball. Oh, that's really cool. Um, yeah. They were, I West think it would Point. be really yeah. awesome to oh, have no, a sibling. No, at, uh, not sure where. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, another yeah, school. Another okay. school. <laughs> so they're an athletic family, yeah. yes. to say the least. <laughs> And you know, the, uh, you talked about family, you coach bowling. You know, his uh, his daughter and son played collegiate wow. tennis. Oh, wow. You know, Carl played at Princeton. Great that's right, that's right. He's there now, I think. He's, um, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. and then uh, I think he went down to North Carolina because, you know, with COVID, oh. they have some, some uh, seasons. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, they got the transfer portal in there, yeah. That's it, yeah. But boy, what a nice match here. Five all, what a comeback. Tell you what, Jackson really has the momentum going right now. Just feisty, scrappy. Oh, that was a great little swing and volley there. Boy, you can just hear all the courts. Just everybody, the enthusiasm. Everybody's just having so much fun. Just absolutely working each point. I'll tell you from a um, a fan perspective, this is electric to me. Like this makes my heart sing. I love watching the fight. I love. I'm part. Like I'm part of their fight. I yeah. feel like I'm on the court with them. Well, the coaches have built such great cultures. All four of them. I mean, you can see just the discipline. And you can see how the important talent. they are to both teams. Yeah. I mean, you, it's really hard to replace them. I mean, when when coaches leave, it's, it's like you can't find another one like them. A lot of the time, that's correct. There have been coaches that leave sometimes that you're happy to see them go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Not going to lie to you. <laughs> and some programs, like, never rebuild. That's true. Where it takes a while, absolutely. But, yeah, I will, I will say this. Army's uh, men's coach, I'm sure that they will have a tough time finding another coach to, you know, replace their coach now. Definitely. He's a one-of-a-kind coach. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like Chow is uh, fighting the momentum a little bit. Oof, double fall. Yeah, just that, that got away from her, yeah. Yep. Jackson was down, and she came all the way back. That's so impressive, yep. mm -hmm. just to see the fight. Deciding point now. Yep, that's a big, big point right here. You can hear the energy from the crowd. Uh, 
just missed. Yeah, that. Karina Chow, just a freshman for the Air Force Academy in such a big spot. Let's switch over to the men now in court 11. This is the beautiful thing about these dual matches, you're just flying around from side to side. Balls been serving for the first set. This is another close match. Yeah, really, all these matches seem to come down to one or two swings. It's just so fun to watch all of them. Yeah. Well, everybody's so good. There's been such a high level of play. We're so lucky to be here today, to be in this beautiful place. Yeah, national campus. Nothing like it. The beautiful lake in the background. It's so great to have everybody in the stands too. Uh, incredible rally there. Yeah, just push that forehand long and now Looking at a break point opportunity for Army to get back on serve. Tie it up, right? Opportunity for Army to get the momentum back. Every point is just so important. Yeah, in, th in these situations, absolutely right. Everything matters. Yeah, Jay oh, Harding man. comes up with the big, yeah. big point. Caught him in the middle wow. of the court, kind of yeah. squeezed him a little bit, and he Rushed pulled it wide. Just a sophomore from Tustin, California. It's like a new game now. Yeah, it sure is. We are even, and now we're going to okay, the number go. five That's singles. And Army's up on this one. Oh, deciding point right here. Yeah, set point and game point. Yeah. Where's Art? Yeah. Now this is This Donna is a Day's. big point right here. It's so nice to see all these close games. Just really fun to watch. Unless you're playing them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Total, not dominate. too fired up right now. <laughs> you would rather dominate uh, than have a close game like this. Oh, Odom with the There beautiful she goes, yes. Oh, holy cow. That, that was, was a big save yeah. right there by Odom. Again, wow. Got the momentum back. It's really impressive how athletic everybody on this court is. Yeah, these are world-class athletes. I mean, the way they train and commit to Well, you got to be a little athletic to go to the academy to begin <laughs> with. Right. Just That's a right. smidge. We're going to bounce over to court number three now because all these matches seem to be getting locked up in these tight situations. Air Force up 6-5 now. Another close game. Wow. Yeah. Things are heating up over here. Maybe not in the temperature, but on the court. <laughs> Definitely not in the temperature. <laughs> Freezing out here. All right, second serve coming from Jackson here. Yeah, Karina Chow, see how she handles mm -hmm. this second serve. Remember, she seems to get in really close and put some pressure on her opponent. That's that attacking way Air Force loves to play. They both have amazing form. So impressive how much they have. Oh, just pushes it long. Jackson can't control that. Now down a set point here in the first set. They called it out, but boy, you see an overrule. There's an overrule. That was called, look at, right down the Texas T-bone. That thing is spot on the line. There's the out call. 
But overruled, you can see the chair umpire in the top left. Deciding point, wow. set point, and game point. Really big serve. That was in. These men and women have to sacrifice so much. Was that an overrule? Yeah. Oh. No, that ball was good. Oh, it was. That's holy cow. What about that? Remember, I can't stress this not coming. This Air Force is undefeated in this season. They're 7-0 going up against the Black Knights. Maybe that streak as a night. Who knows? <laughs> the tennis gods know. And I'll tell you, that this, this is getting pretty close right now. Yeah, it's starting to tighten up a little bit around here. Man, oh man, it just looked like for a while the Air Force was pulling away, both on the men's and women's side. Yeah. The crowd's starting to get louder and louder. Now these are all the women's scores. As you can see, Air Force is of one love. So we're in a tiebreaker right. here. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting mindset. And Julie, what is your mindset going into this? Because you've played such a close set. Absolutely. So, you know, obviously first point of the tiebreaker is always incredibly important. Um, but you can't tighten up here. You have to, you know, still play your game. I think you got to hit through the ball. Um, Oh man, I can't tell if that was in or out. Yeah. It looked like she, there was no call. It looks like I was in. Well, you got to be careful because you, you only have three overrules before you lose the point and things start going the, the wrong way yeah, for you. Yeah, absolutely. And so, Khan, I mean, what what do you do in this situation? You got Jackson who's really making a run. Okay. And then, you know, well, you look at Karina has to be very careful with those line calls right now. Yes, no, Julie's so right. Um, it's you just got to stay focused and this is where you see the better player comes out you have your mental fitness and and um who's who's mentally fit in terms of um playing that mental game in tennis as you know so well it takes over staying disciplined absolutely not getting tight oh look at her working the court cooper's doing a great job making Chow run. Oh, oh, I can't believe she missed that volley. She was in control of that point. She Karina, she played a fantastic point. Karina Chow is a human backboard out there. <laughs> she I mean, is. So Mamish Washington, <laughs> it's just fantastic. It was. This is just an amazing match to watch. It is the pressure. You just feel it. Both sides just coming up with big shots at the right times. Or getting to every shot. Yeah. And yeah. being that backboard and making the other person have to play one more ball. I would like this match to go on forever, but. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that the players do not want the match to go on forever. <laughs> okay, that's a 2 1 lead here. That's a mini break in this tiebreaker. Cooper Jackson has been the one coming from behind time and time again in his first set with big shots. Can she do it again? Both these players playing fearless. on that point. Yeah, I'm really surprised that Chow's playing the Jackson's forehand. That thing has been a weapon the entire set going down the line and cross court. The intensity level is just like rising through the roof right now. Oh, right now, yeah. We've had some, some very interesting moments so far.
very big point right here. Oh, she's she's yeah. just trying to let Jackson make the mistake. She's not hitting a ton of pace on the ball. She's keeping it back. She's making Jackson hit a forehand, hit a backhand, hit a forehand, hit a backhand. So she's not getting comfortable with one shot and making her make the mistake. Army now it seems that Chow has a momentum. Yeah, she's a five-star player coming out of the juniors and hmm. has a lot of seasoning at the national level. Oh, that footwork was yeah. flat for Cooper. Cooper Jackson, not gonna be happy there, but she's been in this spot before, so it'll be interesting on the turn, you know, after this next point, they will change ends, how that dynamic with the wind, the coaching obviously is gonna be very important. Chow with a three-point lead now. She did not go up on that serve. Oh, just long. Double oh. fault, that hurts. Tiebreaker, double fault, hurts significantly. And Julie, I wonder how much now at this point, especially with the big moments where that that Air Force record, you know, 7-0, you're undefeated, the confidence rolling in here, you know, wins real critical points. Well, to me, those wins, because they've played some tough schools and they've pulled out some wins. I mean, that builds your confidence, especially in the big points, to know that you can get in there and scrap and fight and come out with a win. Um, you know, and I, I think it also has the smarts. It, it brings some smarts to them. So Chow is not doing anything special out there. She's getting the ball back in play. Which is special. Which is absolutely. <laughs> so she is running everything down, but she's not over hitting the ball. Right. She's letting she's letting Jackson, you know, be a little bit of her own worst enemy and letting her make the mistakes. I was on the at a as a kid, a clinic with Roy Emerson, who was like Hall of Famer, a great Australian and everything. I thought I had a great question. Like, Mr. Emerson, ooh, don't push it long. Wow. Oh, good yeah. There you go. Yeah, so I asked Mr. Emerson, you know, Mr. Emerson, what's the best shot in tennis? And he looks at me, the one that goes in. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Sometimes you don't care how it gets there as yeah. long as it goes in. But, the, you know, but you have to beat those backboards. And you that's do. what Jackson's up. You know, when you look at Cooper Jackson, she has to kind of figure it out mentally and tactically. Mm-hmm. Both of them right now just have another level of confidence. There's no doubt. You got to have the confidence, especially when you're down like Cooper Jackson, then 5 2. Oh, that will fall if that hurts. Okay, well, she's scooting right back into it. Just like she, she just, did yeah. late in the first set and now leading in this tiebreaker. Look at the focus. Now it seems like she can do it again. This is so amazing. Oh boy, look at that forehand, wow. that was incredible. She got her to move. Oh, look at this, look She's at this, it. look at this. Oh, what an incredible wow. point. Tennis is a game about making the other opponent move. Chow is fast out there, but I'll tell you what, Jackson just played that fired. point beautifully. Well, I think Cooper brought the entire town of Tampa up <laughs> because the crowd is going <laughs> nuts for that. Well, it was an incredible point, let's not lie. She played. And it she started played with that it forehand, beautifully. That fearless oh, forehand. Oh, that forehand. She ripped that thing. So we're back on serve. Cooper Jackson. She got so close to the net that yeah. she blew right by her. So on the men's side, they do play the lets. On the women's side, they do not. That's right. The first serve again. Wow, look at her. One of the, wow. yeah, but that, that's a up. pressure mess She's right there. Again. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, that definitely pressure. And, and I'm sure Chow was absolutely feeling it. She's all of a sudden just let slip through her hands, you know, three points to tie it right up. 
minute ago, Chow had all the momentum. Now it just changes in like two seconds. Mm -hmm. Oh, how good is this? The old moon ball play. <laughs> Leave it up to Air Force right? to go right to the skies. Absolutely. B-52 play. All day long. <laughs> High altitude. <laughs> She's changing up the momentum. Jackson's saying I can do this all day long. Uh -oh. oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. No, 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 no. Uh, that was legit. That was where legit. Where is it? Where was the ball? And then okay. it just bounced. He's coach. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, coach Gidley over there, yeah. Gotcha. There you go. Good time. Take a little mental time out. Mm -hmm. But that clearly was a tactic. Now, you know, tell me, Julie, why the moon ball tactic at that point? Well, I mean, this plays a little bit into what Chow's been doing in... A, it's changing up the momentum. You, you're not letting her hit a big forehand. You're keeping her deep in the court and taking away her weapon. And then Chow is just making her hit as many balls as she possibly can. Um, you know, and it's tiring. Going, you know, moving forward, moving back, moving forward, moving back. It's not side to side. And so all of a sudden, you know, you just had a long rally prior to that last point, and, sh and Jackson just... Uh, made a early mistake. Right now you just have the feeling like one of these players is going to collapse because they're so <laughs> No, I tell you, they have so much energy and Absolutely. stamina. You go through basic, I can't imagine you can do anything. You got that right. They practice. They practice for the Hey, game. you learn in basic training, you learn your limits and you learn what your you what you thought were your limits and then you learn how to overcome your limits and it's it's really an incredible at least it was for me I, I remember I had that aha moment of you know I was in pain my muscles were hurting we were standing there we had to hold our we called them rubber duckies it was a rubber m16 back in the day we went through basic training with and we held it out in front of us I probably for gosh I don't know, I feel like 10, 15 minutes. All of a sudden, my arm stopped hurting. I was like, dude, I can do this all day long. You think you're doing something bad to me? No way, Jose. Well, after one of the most exciting first sets. That was incredible. Chow comes away with the win. At seven, six, and everyone, we gotta take a break, but we're not going to. We're going to court nine. We're going court nine. <laughs> Holy cow, women's singles. One to six. Look at it. Army, Army on a roll. Army. This is match point. Yeah, this is big. Oh, wow. Big Great playing. Great playing. Black Knights on the board. She did. She one, took care of business two. quickly on that one. Army takes this one. Paige Harriman's local girl, just a freshman. This lefty wins 6 1, 6 2 to put Army on the board and give him a little bit of momentum. Oh, it must be great. This is a lot of family and friends here. Yeah, it's, it really has, this match has moved, and, yeah, yeah, I can't, we're, we're here. Bryce, focus now. <laughs> what has been the best part of this duel match so far for you? I think it was a match I just watched. Yeah, yeah, I, that first set was incredible. It was incredible. Incredible, so Julie, we'll go to you. I mean, Air Force had the momentum. They did. Seems to be turning. What What are your feelings on the match? Uh -huh. You know what? It's it's a roller coaster, right? I mean, it could there could be two points that come and all of a sudden the momentum changes. That's tennis, yeah, you yeah. know. So I don't know. I see a lot of great momentum. I you know for Air Force in my opinion, <laughs> um, but you never know. I mean, we're going into second sets here. Okay, Khan, you know? you've got to like that. What happened there in that last match? You win a six one six two decisive victory, and now we're kind of moving on. Here's the overall. Look at this now. Looks at like number one is in trouble. Dole hides down six one four two. So, Con, when you see this overlay as a captain of your uh, Black Knights, what are your emotions? I, I tell you, we we're still in it. So it, it's um, I know Coach is pacing back and forth right now, and I know he's tense <laughs> and, and like uh, you know like Coach Gidley. There are a lot of close there matches there in there. Matches out there. Yeah. So we get just. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. They well, keep going. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Potential match point and game point oh, wow. to stay alive. Zuma. Man, he... Far core. Oh, there oh, you go. Wow. That was a gutsy. Sometimes those balls land in the court. 
going to stay here now, as you can see. You just kind of hang around in, in these conditions, you know, pressure, the moment. Anything can happen. It really is. Dennis, you can't run out the clock. The other side has to put you away. You can see both of the coaches pacing back. Oh, in. absolutely. <laughs> Great little angle there. It was still deep, but got, you know, uh, Army player off the court. Yeah, Zuma in the far court. It's a senior from Honolulu, Hawaii. They call him the Flying Hawaiian. <laughs> or Zooms. I love it. Gotta have the nickname. I love the fun nicknames. Those are the best. They bring out so much character. Oh, great approach. Put away. Exactly what you want at a 6-3-5-1 situation. Don't get tight. Mm -hmm. Continue the strategy and the tactic with what's working. So Zumba absolutely dominating this game. Yeah. Just mm. missed that. It's okay. Going for that big serve, second serve coming up. But you can, and you're trying to play on one court and your teammates going nuts on the other. Going, Great. <laughs> Oh, Great volley. Way yeah. to make him run back and forward. Do you think if you see your teammates celebrating like on the other court, do you think that takes away your focus? I think it helps. It, it helps gives me momentum. when I play. Yeah, it gives me. Absolutely. Especially when I was down. And here you see Azuma here. This is the cutter. And Julie, how do you make this shot? Oh, that's, well, it takes guts. I will tell you that much. It also takes soft hands. And they call me stone hands. Um, <laughs> I hold the racket very tight. I've, okay. I'm slowly learning to loosen my grip, and it's amazing what happens when you loosen your grip on a racket. Like, <laughs> you get some touch and feel. It's really awesome. Well, Zuma's bringing that feel right He's to the point. It. That's yeah. right. Way to come in. Wow. Great angle. Amazing. Well done. That was a great match. Way to fight. Wow, Air Force wins that singles match, 6-3, six, 6-1. Six, Absolute domination from Mizuma. Locked in, really happy for that no senior. Way. Look at this, just taking it all in. Great volley. He almost slipped on that last Yeah, one. he sure did, yeah. He's moving with such force and momentum, you're sliding on a hard court. Good. Coach Oosterhaus must be so happy for that. Now, You're two points in the bag, and the first of four wins the duel. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine what your lateral movement has to be like, though. And they train on it. And let's take a look at what's going on on the men's scores. You see. Air Force leads 2 nothing. Yeah. Looks like, uh, got, let's see here. Sorry. I got to look at my. Yeah, Air Force on number one, six, one, five, three. That would get them to three. And then you start looking down the scoreboard. Uh, court, uh, let's see here, number four singles. Looks like he is Air Force. Kirsten's coming back, second set. Let's bounce to court seven now. And a lot of the action, you can see momentum shifts all over the place. And he's on the women's side. Stelcy here. In a tiebreaker, yeah. Long first set here. Everybody else is in their second set, rolling. Well, mm -hmm. so many momentum shifts in this one specifically. No one seems to be able to have that knockout punch. Everything tied up. And the, that's where the coaching, look at that energy coming out. Stelcy really energized. We saw it in the women's doubles. 
She closed out the point for Air Force. Great return, deep. If you notice this point, she's alternating every time. Forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand. Yeah, we're gonna jump the men on court four. I mean, it's happening so fast. This is match point now for Air Force. This is number one singles. Air Force leads the duel right now to love after winning the doubles point, and then at six singles. There yeah, we go, there that's it, it. ball game. Look at all the energy in the crowd. Baylon, it's team captain, plan. senior, Gwyneth Park, California, nice win for him. That seemed like domination too. Yeah, I just <laughs> I call it decisiveness. decisiveness. But if you want to, if you want to call it domination, I'm fine with that. <laughs> that net, could, yeah, just popped over the top of the net. I love it. Air Force now leads three love in the men's side. That's right, and so it's getting really. Di Army has to really thread the needle now in perfection mm -hmm. to come one back. In the women's. And Bryce, you're on fire. You're going to take my job. <laughs> I love it. In training. That's right. That's right. OJT. So you just start looking around. And this is what you're doing as a player. You said, you know, where can we get some victories? If you're the Black Knights, you're sitting there, okay, where's some hope? Where do we got some momentum? Where can we build? Mm -hmm. You just starts with one. And this is still in the tiebreaker. This is court seven. Everything's dropping for Airsville. Everything's aligned. Haley Stelsey, sophomore from Scottsdale, Arizona. Great approach. Oh, incredible volley. Look at that kind of pressure. Wow. Outstanding. Always so much enthusiasm. Absolutely. Steps in, goes through the ball, keeps going forward, and look at that low volley. Incredible. All that practice paid off. Yeah, no, it's staying low for that. Air Force doing a lot of attacking, moving forward in the net. Soft hands. <laughs> yeah. Very exciting to me. Yeah, that mini break gone now. This is five all. And this is where the coaching really pays off. You got to get right there with your team, come up with the strategy, what's working, what's not, go into the how. How am I winning points? How am I losing points? Players stressed. The coaches must be kind of stressed. Oh, uh, Stelsey just going to get one more ball back, yeah. and now a set point for great. Army. Yeah. Great net play from Army. Slight momentum change. You know, Paul Bo, Bo is absolutely just hanging in there. He's had so many nice shots. Air 
score is now up 2-1 on Army and women. Yeah, that's why this is such a critical set, just for momentum for both sides. Absolutely. Keeps Army in it and going. And uh, otherwise, you know, for Air Force, gives them a little bit on the roll. We're going to bounce the court one now. Oh, Potential yeah. match point. Glossman, 6-1-5-3. Big serve coming up. Well, that was, was that good? That was I good to make it good. a decisive wow. point. Stephanie Dolheim, man, she will go for it. Beautiful forehand, a lot of topspin. Looks like uh, Army ended up winning that first set between Stelcy and Bo. See, it's just these weird momentum shifts left and right. And here's her, look at this beautiful forehand right into the corner pocket. Oh, yeah. Yeah, inside beautiful. the line. Outstanding. Yeah, and Glossman has the choice to return on the add or do side. Big, big point right here. Number one singles. Stephanie Dolehide, senior, won the Arthur Ashe Leadership and Sportsmanship Award last year. Co-captain for West Point. Oh, it's oh, a hammer. Wow, way to show up. Complete that was flame incredible. Thrower. Yeah. Outstanding. That is no easy feat there. That was a beautiful first serve. Just like your sisters. Loves the pressure. Loves for going for it. Boom. Absolutely. She had no time to react to that. Actually. On the line. No Making it very interesting now. We're going to stay on court one. Look at that. That's <laughs> it. The smiles. Love it. Absolutely, has a good positive energy for her. If you blinked, you probably could have missed it. Yeah, the three girls in the family played tennis at such a high level. And as a brother that plays golf, talked to mom earlier today, so proud of her kids. It's fun seeing your kids be successful and something that they've worked so hard at doing. Love. Absolutely, love. I yeah. I mean, the one thing, I know the Dolheids, I'm originally from Michigan and and know their story. It's just, it's just fun to see that the family loves a sport and, and just this journey is not all about wins. It's just about what you do together. Yeah. You can play at the school you want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, one thing Coach taught me, Coach Gidley taught me, is just the love for competing and, you know, all the effort and time you put into it. At the end of the day, digging yourself maybe out of a ditch or, you know, playing, playing bad but still winning and knowing you can just get out and compete. Ah. Oh. It's, there's really nothing like it. It's, it's really awesome. And then, you know, obviously from family's perspective, you compete as a group. Yep. You're competing with your kids out on that court. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, the friendship lasts forever. So it's like, you know, when you become old grads like us, yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Back and the young grads and if we come back to teach or if we see them out in, in the army or the air force. Yeah. And now with social media, you're able to really connect through Facebook and all the different, and so you see everybody's journey and what they're doing in their lives. And I can't, can't even imagine what it's like in the service academies when you, you know, represent and, you know, defend our country, how powerful that is. And then now you see them with kids, too. Yeah. 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 It's, it's yeah. amazing. It's like uh, the the son who played uh, the guitar there. Oh, and then yeah. it, that's um, yeah. my teammate's son out there playing. And it's just, it's cool seeing everybody just meeting their families, watching, watching them grow and just staying connected. It's... But even the, the reality of being in the military, I was talking after the alumni match, there, there are a couple of guys who had played at the Air Force Academy and served in Vietnam. And they talked about a couple of their teammates didn't come back. And it's like, that's, it's so real. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's just amazing what the commitment is from the individual and the family. And, Great volley there. Yeah, that's an under pressure too. That was incredible backhand. 
And you see, you know, Doha is just finding a way to get back in, just mm -hmm. hanging around with big shots. Absolutely. Tons of confidence. And knowing, again, as a captain, she knows the score. She sees what's going on in the other courts and how badly uh, West Point needs her W. really need some momentum right now. Yeah, you know, this well you got the right player at the trigger right now cuz she's not going to throw in the towel. It. Yeah, she's going to rip it. Oh, yeah, okay. right away looking for the forehand. And you see the fans on and the sidelines and the bleachers and they're just watching all the matches, watching the scoreboard. It's just so amazing to see them all. Yeah, it's, it's fun what, looking around, scanning all the scoreboards, seeing where everybody is, watching everybody compete, seeing fist, you know, fist bumps, uh, fist bumps, bumps yeah, yeah. you know. The energy from that yep. score point is just amazing. Oh, oh that yeah. backhand missed, and wow. Yeah. Just like that, we are back yeah. on serve. Five all. And that's what captains do. I mean, they lead. By when, example. Oh, just fierce. And it wasn't the doubles result that Dolhide wanted. And now here are the results so far with Air Force up 2-1. Paige Harriman, as you see it, bottom right of your screen, she won that. Local girl, 6-1, 6-2. That put Army on the scoreboard. Maybe enough momentum. Yeah, and you got Bo, who ended up winning the, her first set. Yeah. So, you know, possibly she pulls that out, court one. There's a good look at a facility here, National Camp. This is just, <laughs> just six of the courts, and then there's six right behind us. Now Air Force up on both men's and women's. This is the men, this is the women's side. That runs. Yeah, that's what we're gonna change that in a little bit, but that's Army is up now 2-1. No, that that's not right. That's not right. Air Force is up 2-1. It's 2-2 two, two now. And look at all this great play. Just and you just scoreboard watch and you're flying up and down the courts. <laughs> this facility is definitely a wonder to play at. <laughs> There's nothing like it in the world. It's tennis heaven. It is USA an incredible. USCA National Campus. You build a, a, a hundred courts, you're going to have some exciting stuff going on. Now, we got we got it right. 2-1 now. This is the <laughs> women's side. See, I, I really think it, this number one singles on the top field left here with Glossman and Dolhide, I think that would be a very interesting way for Army to kind of dig their way through if Absolutely. they're going to win this dual match. Absolutely. That that potentially is a, a turning point. That Air Force has really gotten out to a, a big lead, that 3-0 lead. They're starting to pull away. I mean, you start to look at... Look there. Very commanding. Yeah. This is court six now. Men's singles, number three. Roman. Leads in both sets? Yeah, six, six four, four, two. Mm -hmm. He's serving now, 40 love. Oh, wow. Cooper Jackson just hit an incredible forehand to take the lead in the second set, 3 2. Big forehand cross court now. 5-2. Now she's got to be happy about that. 
Roman now is a commanding lead. Yeah. Very comfortable. You see, you know, just a little bit more relaxed. But the coaches can't be too clear. Relaxed. Well, I mean, up six, four, five, two. And then remember, this is to close out the duel. They're up three love here. And they're gonna stop as soon as one team gets to four. Nick Vroma is a four-star junior player coming out of the high school ranks, tennisrecruiting.net. Just a sophomore from Massachusetts. His brother Andrew plays for the Army, so they're very locked into the military life, that family. Their parents must be very proud of them. Oh, yeah. To go serve your country is very hard. <laughs> yes, that's right. All right, women's number one singles. Um, looks like uh, Doha just took the lead, 6-5, oh, in the second set. Very interesting. Yeah. Oh, pushes that one long. And for Eden, it's just so important for him just to keep putting balls in play. Samuel is a junior out of New Jersey, 5'11", 165. Syracuse. How was that? Oh, it was fantastic. Fantastic. Eight years. It's uh, got to play West Point, got to play against Navy, got to compete against uh, Air Force. So uh, it was always an honor to play such unbelievable individuals that had such purpose and direction in their life. And look at he, Roman's not even paying attention. He's got to focus on his match. <laughs> he, hey, he does. Come on, pretty boy, <laughs> let's go. Also, do you think that the uh, academy, like, do you think there's, do you think there's player, the players have like a different look in there, like a different mentality? I think they do. I always felt they did because, you know, they, they're, they're committing something bigger than themselves. And most players, and I, I, I played at University of Southern California, and I was focused more on being the best tennis player I could and going through the college pathway. Uh, these play, these players, these individuals, are, are the leaders of our future and our now. And uh, it really is remarkable how they can still play a sport while training to be leaders of, of the uh, really? nation. They have to sacrifice so much time and effort to do this. Yeah. You know, and team captains, they go through a special training, at least at Air Force. Oh, is that right? They do. They go through a leadership and character development training. Wow. Um, to qualify to be captain or are you no, nominated like, first? If, yeah. No, if, if you're going to be the team captain, you have to go do this summer course. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that's even on top of their academics, training, and, and athletics. Did mm -hmm. you do that twice then? Or once you were captain your junior year, you No, I ended up doing it twice. Wow, yeah. wow. And so at Air Force, your summers are split into like trimesters, I guess. So yeah. you have three periods. So usually you do something two of the three periods and then you usually take off the third period that you don't do something. So, um, but usually I stayed, I don't think I ever took a summer off. Really? Yeah, I always either took a summer class or um, usually it was a summer class. Let's not lie. <laughs> are, are, you vote, are you voted by the fellow team? Who, who or there's a coach? Uh, coaches pick oh, you. Coaches, yeah. Yeah. At least where we are. Yeah. And it looks like at West Point as well. Yeah. Kind of the same thing? You were, you were voted by your teammate or by the coach Pat? Actually, was both. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, your teammates. You really got to, like. Yeah. <laughs> Court five here. Big kick serve. Oh, great volley. There wow. you go. That's match point. Great job. Air Force wins that. That was just incredible. That was. And we really, we thought this was going to be a close match. Air Force, right from the doubles point, really stuck out. Made big shots on big big moments. So that's... Air Force just controlled that all the way through the beginning to the end. That was just an impressive... So it's 3-0 for Air Force men right now. No, it's done. Oh, that's, that's done. It. Okay, yeah. that's it. 4-0. That's it, yeah. Okay, that's, wow. That's it. 
Yeah, once they get the four, they All stop. Done, and that's Now they'll cheer on the women, I'm See, sure. See, that's why I think it will be very interesting because now you're going to get the entire men's team both and it will that will change momentum it will change and you'll see add even more yeah. dynamic you know pressure also um you play professional tennis do you like that better than coaching Ooh, that's a really good question <laughs> well if you're winning it all depends if you're winning if you're winning as a professional <laughs> tennis player you make money and that was always fun <laughs> But if you win as a college coach, you get to keep your job. So you, you, <laughs> Take your pick on that. <laughs> so here's your men's score, 4-0. And really, Air Force, look at these scores. Nice uh, straight them. sets, yeah. And But I'll tell you, it's, a, it's been a, just an event from the alumni event and, and just coming out with the college match day. Court and now we're going to focus on the women, and this is court one. Dolheide has brought this back to a tiebreaker in the what? second set. That's crazy. She's in the far court serving with that big serve. Look, another hammer down the tee. Oh, oh it was overruled. Mm -hmm. Over, that's a very, that is usually on that far sideline. That's a tough one. Yeah. Glasman takes an early one love lead in this tiebreaker talked about it earlier how this could be the one where Army needs it and the Army needs to really I win can't this one. imagine how much pressure there is during a tiebreaker. I mean, just crazy. That big serve from Klausman at 2-0 but we've seen this situation with Dolhide before being down a set and then a break in the second set. Fans getting rowdy here. Court number three, looks like Army just went up 4-3 in the second set. Glossman now 3-0 in this breaker, and this is where Dolheide has to take her time. Get a little coaching and bring out that big serve, bring out that big forehand. Nice, nice combination. Oh, Look at that drop there you shot. Go. Yeah. Way to mix it up. And you see those trophies. The trophies go will go to West Point or they'll go to Colorado Springs. And on the men's side, it's going to Colorado Springs. Woohoo! It's a night nice, and then to see how this pressure moment now for Glossman to try to put away Dolhide is gonna be very interesting. Didn't work late in the second set. Now in a tiebreaker. That trophy means so much to the team. Oh, yeah. Some, some of the alumni say, hey, where's my, uh, ours aren't on there. You know, they go back, well, it was in the 70s, guys. You yeah. know, they, <laughs> All the work you, you put into one of these trophies is crazy. Well, that's why these rivalries, the academy rivalries, are just so important and so exciting. Um, and it's just, it's, you know, a different type of rivalry than any other, than any other schools out there. I wonder if Dolheit found something with that high, heavy topspin of the backhand of Glossman there, because it seemed like Glossman was falling off her, onto her back foot. I feel so comfortable knowing that these are the men and women that are going to serve our country. Yeah, same here. So one of the women from um, TJ, who graduated last year yeah. uh, for the women's team, she actually was one of the first, they're the first class to go into the Space Force. Yeah, so, yeah, that's right. Pretty exciting. Fumagalli is a uh, five-star recruit, and uh, unfortunately COVID just stopped uh, her. My heart just, broke for her. I think she got as high as 15 in the nation. She, she was crushing it. is awesome. She was about to be deployed and was able to get on a flight to make this match. Last minute, absolutely. She got in last night. Oh, great play. That was a delicate drop shot, mm -hmm. too, to create that opening. 
She just blew that ball right by her. She well, here's the, yep. About it. There's the drive to set up this drop shot. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They get so close to the net, it's just hard. Yeah, and the numbers on the back of the year, they're going to graduate. So Glassman will graduate in 2025. Man, that's unbelievable to me. Yeah. <laughs> so here's your overall score on the women's side. Air Force is up 2-1, but we have a nail biter at one singles. And just keep scoreboard watching. And number threes. Yeah. Tighten that second set there. Stephanie Dolhai getting some last minute coaching. Yeah, just look at the energy. It's just like a Rafa mindset running to the baseline. Keeping that energy up. Yeah. Definitely. She had that as a junior. I mean, all of her sisters played with that kind of intensity and that fierce mindset. Wow, that's a big forehand. Glasman just ripped there. Great, oh, yeah. incredible overhead. In, in these conditions, it's pretty clutch. Yeah. I thought that was going to be pretty tough to handle. You ran right by the ball. Yeah. So, Julie, 5-2 down now. If you're Dolhide, what's your mindset with the match really kind of on the brink? Well, I mean, really, it, you are thinking, I need to scrap and figure out getting a point. I, I want this point. I want to stay in this. However it is I need to do that, I'm going to figure it out. Both of them are just playing their butts off right yeah, now. Yeah. Glasman had a great pick up there. But it was interesting. She came in behind that. I was said that. That wasn't one I would have picked to yeah. come in behind. <laughs> We've seen that from Air Force the entire time on the women's side. You, mm -hmm. you see it definitely moving forward, pressing. And I think that's coming obviously out of your uh, coach, coach's system, and then the altitude. You're so so used to coming forward. Yeah, and if you notice, I mean, the women they hit, they hit a lot of drop shots. Mm -hmm. So, cat, coach used to always call it cat and mouse with me. Bring them in, push them back, bring them in, push them back. And then also moving forward to close the point out. So, those are all you know, different strategies that coach, she employs on them in every single practice. They are proficient at hitting all of those shots. It could have been easy to get discouraged after dropping oh, yes. that game to serve it out and great sportsmanship. Okay, 3-1. Yeah, and so you're looking basically at where Army can kind of stay alive and get something going. Here's match point, setting up the forehand, decisively hitting this thing down the line. Mm -hmm. That was a great play. All that hard work paid off. Sure did. And here's what we're looking at. Here's the update. Start to look at that Jackson match. Man, that has been right in front of us. Watching that has just been so much fun. And Stelcy and Bo there. Yeah. I mean, looks like Army's taking a slight lead there in the second set. Looking at the Odom on the other side, yeah. up seven, six, four, three. Air Force just needs one more, so. Yeah. But it's weird though, you, you, it's so important when you have that lead, just focus on what you're doing because you start hoping the other teammate pulls it out. Mm -hmm. Then you get distracted and you're not doing your job. Yeah, Odom on the far, far court.
the concentration they have to have to hit the ball. Uh, Don't they? Yeah. They really do. They kind of, yeah, especially in these windy conditions where the ball's moving all over the place. Dandane serving now a sophomore, five-star recruit out of Santa Clarita, California. It's funny, so many um, colleges, they recruit internationally. And one thing that's incredible about the academies is um, that they are they are all Americans. I mean, it's those are the few teams out there in collegiate sports where you have all Americans on that that's team. Some, that's because of the pathway, correct? I mean, you're, you're not going to get someone from another country because you guys are going into the service academy. Well, that's correct. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. But it's 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 a rarity. And I just, I think it's awesome because we are supporting Americans that's out right, there. That's right, yeah. And you have so many foreign countries coming over and taking so many of those scholarships. Yeah. And you have so many Americans that are working hard, growing up, playing, and they lose out on the scholarships because, you know, there are a lot of great international players. Yeah. Oh, just missed that forehand in the net. And now, Dandane is just finding a way to hang around, put a lot of balls in play. And you see, the crowd has never really let up this entire match. No, yeah, they are all in. Everybody wants their team to win. It's, oh, yeah. it's awesome. The fans and the service cameras are just amazing. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see right there. And I wonder how this is going to affect these matches going forward. Because most of the time, I mean, the matches they play don't have these many fans. Mm -hmm. This has been, I That's mean, true. USC Absolutely. has really put this thing together. This Appreciate the military and everything they've done for us. And, you know have this match day here has just been great. I, and, you know, and they had uh, clinics for kids. Yep, yep. They had clinics for the military, alumni match. Yeah, the yep. alumni match. It was a really cool day today, seeing it from, you know, toddler to yep. adult. It was a lot of fun. The National Campus has a weekly military clinic. Oh, that's that, really cool. That, I didn't yeah, realize that. Veterans can come out. And oh, I'm coming down weekly now. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's just an awesome experience for everybody. Yeah. Every age can participate in yeah. this. Yeah. It's just amazing to see everybody play. That's the great thing about tennis is every age can play. Yeah. And you can do it for your entire life. It truly is one of the few that you can. And the camaraderie with it, too, is second to none. Just seeing how hard they work makes me tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, what a great passing well, shot there. You can't be tired, okay? <laughs> you cannot be tired, that's all right. I guess. But this is, to me, this is when you get so close, both sides are just finding as many shots they can land as possible. Mm-hmm. Five all second set in uh, on court number three. Just push that one cross court a little wide. And it's so important right now to really play the winds a little bit. And because you start playing too big with the wind, that ball's going to carry out. If you're not playing firm enough against the wind, the ball's going to go short. 
close they're always upset with yeah especially if it's for your person Definitely. oh well, that incredible backhand alexis odom wow. absolutely blisters she nuked him yeah she did <laughs> nuke him yeah yeah <laughs> look, well, look at, at that this. backhand right here hammers Boom. that ball look at that that was great play so lots much power. of yeah but courage to do it at that moment mm -hmm. too i i just to see that ball and hammer it Yeah, that's it. Whenever I see those overheads, they look mm. easy. And they Alexis are not. Knows, yeah, they are not. Not in these yeah. windy conditions. And it's so important to play with bigger margins on that. Don't, don't give them a free one. Yep. From Spring, Texas, Alexis Odom feels the opportunity to knock this one into the wind column, but still so much pressure. Her favorite athletes are... Naomi Osaki and Serena Williams. Yeah, that that's that's a pressure serve right there. And Dantene is now up five four and just clawing her way back after losing the first set seven six. In the court number three right now. They've been having some marathon points over here. Oh. Looks like Chow just took the lead 6-5. We could be leading, going right back into a tiebreaker. That first we set could. was so, so competitive. And Chow was able to pull that out. Amazing replay. Yeah. And, Everybody was just kind of finding their rhythm, and that was a that little was wide. That was wide, yeah. Yep. She knew it. She started walking towards. Mm hmm Getting some coaching on the sidelines now. Yeah, what is going through that kind of combination? What are the coaches telling? What are the, what are the players communicating back? I mean, you know what each opponent's doing at this point. You know the strategy, what you're trying to do. And you really connect and, and con, you know, Army, it, this is a must win game. No, it, it, it is. And, you know, you, you can see Martha out there. She's, um, she has experience. She's been through this before. And, and she's, um, you know, she's telling them that, you know, stick with the game, stick with the game and focus. Every point counts. Yeah. Giving them a little bit of that comfort, but reiterating and what, the game plan is that they probably already know, but oh, what a great, incredible love. Oh my gosh. You just did the moon ball game, two Air Force, it started in <laughs> hey, the first place. Hey, we are professionals, okay? You are, yes, you own the skies. <laughs> hey, but it sets up the point for us. It, she ran out of room. That was yeah. incredible to get that Cooper Jackson. It was an yeah. awesome lob. You couldn't hit a better one. You can see both of the schools showing their support for their teammates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great forehand there. Chow. These are marathon points. Great wow. shot from uh, Jackson one. there. A little short of that. Oh, there she goes. 
it's funny, you kind of hold your breath when that ball goes up and they're setting up and you're like, oh man. Because you don't want them to miss, you know? You, yeah. You just don't want them to blow it, but it's so measured. Look at this, the racket head is up, good footwork and balance. It's all about time. You just wait until that ball comes to the right spot, slam your racket down. Yeah. <laughs> that is right. On the line, return there from Jackson. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, just why? Isn't it weird? Because it seems like Jackson now is the counter puncher mm -hmm. and just waiting for mm -hmm. opportunity. And Chow's feeling the pressure, even though she's up seven, six, six, five, is going for a little bit more and missing. I agree. She is. She's going for a little bit more. And Jackson's not going to throw in the towel. Jackson's not going to do No chance, yeah. Well, I don't think either of them are going to throw in the towel. Yeah, <laughs> anyone at a military academy, I don't think you make it if you have a you know, mindset. There like is that. no towel throwing. Exactly. <laughs> oh, see, wow. but you're right. She's going for she's going for more of her shots, and she's ending the, trying to end the points earlier. And that's so weird. It's, it's yeah, so that, similar to the first set because Chow had the same thing, had the set in hand, and just kind of let it go. Yeah. See, this is a momentum turner for Army. Oh. If they if they pull this match out, this is a big momentum turner for them. That's uh, Coach Gidley used to say that you can have the magic out when you're um, there. There's magic that can be created, and it's all within like the momentum change of everything, and like you all of a sudden feel the magic out there. Yeah. And I feel like if Army pulls this out, this is where the magic starts for them. Those other courts will be feeling it. Great forehand there from Chow. Oh, missed that, went for too much. It is so weird how the roles have reversed. Jackson looks like she's in a great groove, mm -hmm. but she's the one who's behind in this match. I see that replay. Look at her scrapping, getting the ball in play, making Chow make the mistake. She gave everything. Yeah. And Chow's trying to hit through her, which really isn't what she should be doing. And I just wonder, I mean, I'll go back to Air Force coming into, Air Force women, 7-0 coming into this match, mm -hmm. playing a, a clear, you know, an academy rival. Mm -hmm. um, having this lead. Rivalry games are always super big for both schools. Oh yeah, mental game too. So much preparation for, for this game. Jackson's got control of this point. Wow. Oh, wow. Chow is unraveling right in front Absolutely. of us. Absolutely. You can miss it, but she missed it by a country mile on she that. She might have hit the, the back of the, the yeah. fence on that and one. This is where Coach has to get out there and calm her down. I yes. mean, this, this tiebreaker is far from over, but you can't, you got to give Jackson one more volley there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, hit it at her feet. Just make her hit a ball. She's just in her head right now. The Army crowd starting to heat up. There we go. That's a little bit of the get back in the momentum that she had previously for Chow. Wow, incredible forehand from Jackson, incredible. But waited for the punch. You know what I mean? Didn't wait, you know, didn't get... Uh, didn't try to force it. Yeah. yeah. Just look at this replay. This is after maybe like a 20-ball rally. Nice little roll, sets up, and unleashes the yeah. beast right there. Beautiful. You know, there's something to be said about both of these uh, players are freshmen. Yeah. So, yeah. like, when you, you come out there, it's fresh. I don't know how, how it was with you, Julie, but I think I played better as a freshman. <laughs> oh, I definitely did not. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
it, so for me, it was a little different because I had a different coach. I didn't have Coach Gidley my first two years. Coach Gidley showed up. She changed my world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I just think it's, it's amazing the, the spike in growth from mm -hmm. freshmen because they get in there and they're like, what am I doing? And they don't even know where the buildings on campus are. And then by the end of the first season, they're like getting the conference championship. Like they get it and you can count on them and you're just start out this career such a positive note. They're just getting so used to everything. Yeah, it's true. The academics, the workload, the travel, so different from junior tennis. Mm hmm Oh, incredibly. Until you get used to it. So that's an interesting miss right there. You know, you're up 4-1, but you throw in the double. You know, Chow's trying to give you the tiebreaker. Absolutely. And, uh... It'll be interesting how this next point is played by Jackson. Does she kind of get anxious and, you know, like pull the trigger early on the on the point or stay patient and wait? There you yeah, go. Wow. Yeah. Jackson getting exhausted. No, uh, no. no. She, on, just, she, right. just, she just made a little mental error. I said, it's that pressure air, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, it's 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 one thing when you, you're dealing with adversity, but now you're up 4 at one yes. point. Prosperity. How do I deal with prosperity? I'm up 4-2 now. This changeover is huge for this Army. Is not the time to be going for extra. Yeah. Keep playing your game. With what's winning. Right, exactly. Uh, to me, prove, have Chow prove to you that she can knock you out. And so far, it hasn't been the case. Mm -hmm. And she's let, she's letting her back in. It's where that competition, the pressure, just builds character. I mean, who who really can handle the nerves right now? Well, this shows it. Big mental game. Great get from Chow. She is just feeding them to Jackson's forehand, which I know she is oh, enjoying. Oh, 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 oh. Great play in there. Fantastic. She just kept gave, giving it to her. Yeah, I mean, just side to side, the, the level has been awesome. Definitely. Jackson's hyped up. Yeah, wow. the forehand has been lethal. Set point for Army to even things up and to give you the overall score. Air Force is up 3-1. All they need is one more win. <laughs> and the other two courts look tight. Yeah. That serve looked long. The crowd getting amped up here. All right. Six four. Chow taking a walk about to go get that point. Yeah, I don't I'm blame sure you. she is. Let's take as much time as possible. <laughs> Love to get the heart rate on both of these competitors to see where it's at right now. Right? They should have them. They should have them like, uh, you know, hooked up. That's right. That's right. That'd be great. I'd love to see that. See that on everybody's, everybody's vital stats yeah. out there. It'd be really cool to see. Very futuristic. I think we should. I think we should uh, present that to them. You know, for the next uh, big collegiate That's match right. day. That's right. That would be cool. Get a sponsorship going. There you go. Right. <laughs> and we have a tiebreaker right now. Jackson now oh serving for the second set tiebreaker. 
Oh, wow. There's so many tiebreakers. Moon balls. They're back. Do what works for you. confusing to me why she keeps going to Jackson's forehand instead of I mean she's in a great situation to be able to go to her backhand oh the wind took that oh, one yeah. oh boy wow what a second set I like that point because if Army comes back from a 3-1 deficit, the Black Knights can circle that. Yep, absolutely. As the point of the turnaround right there. Everybody's running over to see courts uh, four and five. Court eight, women's singles at the five spot. Air Force won the first set 7-6. The Black Knights of West Point. Army is up 6-5. But down a game point. That's right. It's not over yet. This is college tennis at its very best. It just move and counter with pressure all over the place. Like I'm nervous, Julie. You know? Yes. Um, I can't tell if it's I'm cold or nervous, but I'm shaking anyway. You look at it. Combo. It's a combo. It's a combo. Oh, wow. All right, tiebreaker. Donna was serving oh, for so the second set, and now we're going into another tiebreaker. Wow. And I think another dynamic we have to stress men and women here together. Most of the time you're playing just with your team and the men are playing at another place. Mm -hmm. I think there will be a dynamic as this thing gets closer. It'll be very interesting having the voices of the guys right there with their team. And we saw it right from the huddles. Both huddles were hanging together, huddling together before the duels. It's a very special college match day here at the USCA National Campus. Now, the, the other schools don't do this, do they? This, I, even the academies haven't done it. They've done match days. They do match yeah, days, yeah. but it's not men and women. Not men and it's women. only women yeah. or only men. So this is the rarity of having both the men and the women here. Wow. A little change up in pace there. Yeah. A little razzle dazzle. Because it's magic. Yeah. This is tight. Alexis Odom, far court, just a freshman from Spring, Texas. Part of, listen to this, the squadron, the 12 Dirty Dozen. The Dirty Dozen. The Dirty Dozen. That's so right. Leave it up to that squad. <laughs> How cool is that? Good steady point here. Each wants the other to make the mistake. Now we're going to 
see a lot of this. Get Just buckle up and you get your cup popcorn and <laughs> because these points are going to be long. <laughs> Order some Uber Eats because <laughs> the, when it gets tight, the ball gets up there. And just who can hold their nerve? Who can find that weaker shot on the other side of the net? That's right. Odom now a 2-1, a mini break. This right here builds a lot of character. It sure does. Pressure is a privilege, says Billie Jean King, who flipped the coin at the Super Bowl. Did you see that the yes, other day? Yes, that was <laughs> awesome. Wow, that was great for him there. Moving forward on that. Oh, uh, there she goes. Wow. Yeah. It owed him just a little tight on that forehand mm -hmm. and the wind, that swirling wind being a factor, everybody. We got a ball game out here. She got that ball down low and made uh, Odom have to yeah. come Just up with a, a good volley. sophomore, absolutely, when she, her team, her side needed it. Just scrambling. Army needs this match right here. Mm -hmm. Darn right. Yeah, that change of pace, it works. That forehand has been really effective from time mm -hmm. to time. You see both teams and the players will change ends. You know, out here, this tiebreaker, it, this is when you get tight. You need like that one extra step, that one extra little shuffle. I think that this is the thing that I want to see. I, it, this communication right mm -hmm. here, coach to player, player to coach, what's going on out there? Because sometimes in that slight, okay, when that slice forehand comes to you, like, okay, let's address it with better footwork, with balance. Mm -hmm. Don't feel you have to win this thing. Make sure you're steady, steady with your mind, steady with your strategy. Right. And these coaches really do build bonds with their players. Oh, absolutely. Starts with the sprints, the morning workouts. Not only when like they're playing, but like when they get older. Yeah. Look at your mom. She's here. That's right. Hanging out with coach. And this is where it's fun. Look at the matches on the line, matches right next to each other. The college tennis experience. Alexis there we go. Yeah, once again. Another slice. Clearly a tactic that's working, and Air Force is going to exploit it. Odom getting the clutch points. <laughs> I love her composure. You know, I mean, just. Oh, seems calm. For a freshman to Absolutely. walk into this situation against this opponent. I mean, this isn't like playing another university. I mean, it's it's a different type of rivalry. Mm -hmm. When you were coaching, how did you handle tight matches like these? Just put the ball in play. Just put it in there. And if, you know, if you're not going to do it for yourself, do it for me. I like my job. I love it. Oh, oh look at that. Wow. Odom again with the clutch points. Yeah. When she needed them, she got them. She's making her opponent play. Yep. And this change of pace that I really like, the spin has been just really thoughtful. It's it's so effective, and Coach really knows how to 
implement it and she makes all of her all of her um, students implement it man and then that one did not work move. so yeah. good there Dandene comes back yep. with a little attack little cut of her own Closer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She got her off balance there. There we go. Yeah, there. there she goes. Yep. All right, we're t tied up, kids. Just but, amazing. But to me, it was way Donna decided to attack. Look, yep. this comes in once again. Ends the point on her terms. She's got her mm -hmm. off balance on there, and she had no time to. The last that two shot. points to come in with so much confidence. Mm -hmm. We're at five all now in the second set tiebreaker. Odin won the first set seven six. The overall score: Air Force three, West Point one. A set of tight matches here. And it is five all in this tiebreaker. Wow. She got our bows there. Wow. And Odin hasn't done anything wrong. Maybe hit the ball a little short. Mm -hmm. But that, that, that's what I feel like. She's hitting a little bit short, and it's allowing Army to move forward and come through the ball. And then all of a sudden, you know, she's on the defensive and not able to get to. The only thing the I would say is. In the last like two, three points, we haven't seen that slice You're right. from Odom. You're Remember right. That, that got her to that, that was point? effective, right? Give her that knuckleball. Let's just throw some change ups there, but kind of went away from that. Yeah. Keep doing what's working. Oh my goodness! Great low wow. shot there. And Donzene wins this look at this this point set point here yeah is that set oh that was set. set oh wow <laughs> we have got a ball game everybody two three setters we got one more match in the second set here all over the place and it looks like army is up on the second set it looks like we're gonna have three three setters here kids Yeah, you, this this is getting very interesting. We're gonna pop over to court number seven now, and look at this score. Well, a bow serving for the match, up a set, five three down break point wow. and just lost that game the air force stelzy stays alive they get their opponent so off balance and they have no time to recover with the power shots absolutely and usually when they're off balance they hit it like a little loop or like a moon ball so you can just spike it in there and want to emphasize now air force comes into this duel seven and oh undefeated on the season army is nine and four wow air force definitely looking at to defend that streak and they've done a good job so far yeah so i mean one of the things is when you're in these pressure situations i mean You've got to start thinking about what's working, what's not working. And you know, let's go to, um, Con, when you played, you know, those situations that were going through your mind and your game and using your coaching staff to, to play your best tennis. No, you mentioned before, like, get the ball in play. So I, I would, um, in my matches, I didn't do too well. You know, I started slicing and not going for my regular backhand shots. And so it's, it's hard. Yeah. yeah. Smile, buddy. Smile. Wave to everybody. We're on Tennis One, the app that goes around the world. Best That's app right. in the world. Do you have it? No, you better no. get it. You better get oh, it, my friend. We got it. We got it. Well, we do have it. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I know I have it. We're going back to court seven, and the pressure is just enormous.
Oh, Puello Bao absolutely hammers that ball for a winner, that lefty forehand. Looking for that serve, it's windy conditions. points have so much power and dynamic spin to them. Here's the replay on this. You see you have to have such great footwork and discipline going for that shot. He's just mixing it up, that little yeah, slice. Yeah. yeah, making a run. Some of these moves you have to think on the fly. Oh, absolutely. You just trained hour after hour on those reflexes and those instincts. Oh, that's a great shot. Yeah. Using that leftiness, too, to open up the core with those angles. And she's so fired up right now. Yeah, she is. Look at that. That's the first one off the backhand. She switches to her forehand grip, gets underneath this one, and just rolls it into the right position. And, and you know, you just get a sense Army has got something going right here. Just, just they understand they're down 3-1 in the overall score. First to four, closes out the match. In the back room, you need to see all the support from our team. It's just outstanding to see their community all behind them. And you know, it's that mental toughness. You just yeah. don't give up, mm -hmm. just fight, never quit. He just kind of yeah. didn't get around that outside part of the ball. And now look at this. This is wow. match point. Senior from Puerto Rico. Two sport athlete coming out of high school. Puala Bao right here. At this point, it's a strong senior class. You got Vincent, you got Pavla. Yep. And you got Dohai, so they're a strong group there. She dropped a racket. Oh. She almost won that point. She dropped, ah. hit the back fence, dropped a racket, had to recover. Amazing to see the recovery, though. Yeah. Never quit. Look at you this right here. Drive. Banged into, oh, had to drop it before she lost it. Yeah. She could have gotten injured. Easily. Still has two more match points, but returning. She 
head on that cross court passing shot, and that was a miss hit, too. Yeah. Here's the deciding point coming up, but here's the replay. Look at the chip and charge, covers the cross court. That down the line seemed to be wide open. Perfect placement on that. Well, maybe a little miss hit there. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. Takes the deuce court now. Wow. That's your game. That's your match. That's Army. All right, Army's back. To three, two. Yeah, it's Holy getting exciting. Yeah, beautifully. Yeah. Her coaches might be very proud of her. Wow. It's getting excited. Good win for the senior. <laughs> that is just outstanding. And now they're just a full closer family. and closer. Absolutely. These the service academies go through so much. They're so close to each other. Yep. You see this side, and this is on the women's side. We are now 3-2 Air Force, who is undefeated this season. An army just clawing their way back. You Throwing can just the feel court. the drive. Oh, absolutely. Right now. now, court three, look at this. Jackson, who oh lost the gosh. first set, nice. was out of it in the second set, is now up 4-1, a commanding lead here in the final third set. Here in number three singles on court number three serving with a double break lead. Big serve. Ooh. And Khan, it just seems like Chow from the end of the second set just kind of lost her nerve. She was yep. rolling the ball, staying really consistent, and then just kind of came out of her personality and out of her game to try to be more offensive. You, you see she lost her aggressiveness and now she's playing defense and just trying to get the ball back. But really, the game plan is not there. And so that's that's where, you know, like you had mentioned coaching, you just stick to your game plan, what works. She would definitely want that set back. Yeah, just I would say yeah. not even the way, it was almost like the way she approached it. You know, I'm just kind of unraveled, but you know, it's still, in this sport, just in so many turns of momentum can happen. 15 all here and... To dominate a matchup to be so consistent. Yeah. It's just so crazy. Wow, nice shot. She got her off balance there. In. Interesting shot selection there, out wide, trying to hammer that ball down the line. Now 15-30, half a chance for Chow to break. With the way this momentum has been going back and forth, it's not out of the question. Julie, I bet you were coaching on that break. Oh, can you hear me a little <laughs> out of breath here? I needed some warmth. I got a jacket. Is this the last match? No. No. Oh, wow, that was a great shot on the line from Jackson. There she goes with that forehand again. Four more. That has been the one oh. shot that's been so reliable mm -hmm. for Cooper Jackson, just hanging in there, rolling it around, looking for her opportunities to strike. Ironically, the name of my five-year-old son, Cooper Jackson. No way. No way. <laughs> well, if this Cooper Jackson wins, I hope you don't put your Cooper Jackson in timeout. Definitely not. <laughs> he might get a reprieve from it. That's right. Oh, that's oh, a boy. big mess. That big hard. mess. That's a pressure. <laughs> pressure double fault right there. Take your time. No need to rush.
so much weight on their shoulders right now. Oh, oh. there we go. Wow. You know, the difference here is she moved uh, Jackson way out to her backhand. Yeah. And yeah. made her, and then was able to go to her forehand instead of just giving her a quick, easy forehand where she can do something with it. Tight matches all around here. Do you sense, you know, I've, we sensed it, the army shifting the momentum. Oh, the absolutely. Yeah, and this is, it's not over. I literally run out for a couple of seconds yeah. and yeah. all of a sudden, it's things have yeah. turned. The tides have turned a little bit. Tell you what, there are no lack of balls hit during these rallies. <laughs> no, definitely not. So this is where she needs to pull her wide to her forehand and get her off of that forehand so she can go to her backhand. Oh boy. I will say like Cooper Jackson has a really good first step to cover that back. Absolutely. I mean, you've got to be either get a good, nice short angle or something deep into that corner. Mm -hmm. Or even pull her out to the forehand first to get to well, the and that's And that's what yeah. I'm saying, because right now, Cooper's, she's just running around yeah. all of her backhands to hit a forehand. She's got to get pulled out wide to her forehand, so then she can drive into Cooper's backhand. So interesting to see how they all play under this pressure. Jackson, you can feel it. She really has the momentum right now. Oh, yeah. man. Wow. And because both matches, on the other side, they can't see the scoreboard. I, I wonder where the coaches are sitting. Like, are you telling your player what the situation is no. on the other side? You don't. No. I always wanted to know. No. And I always told them what oh, the really? situation. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Do not tell me. <laughs> Just let me play in my bubble and in my game, and I will. I don't need that extra exterior stuff for me. Oh, I wanted that. I want to know exactly what's going on. <laughs> just pile it on. It was just great. <laughs> You needed just distractions, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I just felt that was real, because you can hear what's going on mm -hmm. over there. Are we winning or are we losing? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I always want to know the situation. Great forehand there. See, she pulled, she got her out of the middle enough. Oh boy. Oh my yeah, God, no it. way. What a run. And talk about just, you so needed well, yeah. that shot. She yeah. needed that shot is right. The speed Look to get this. down. I mean, shot you have. Him at the right moment. Yeah. That was great. I mean, really, when she hit that short shot to Jackson, she should have been a couple of steps in the court. It was a low shot to Jackson. There's no way she could have really gone deep with it. There you go. Do it again. There you go. Wow. Now that's a strategy. There you go. She came in with a fire. How big is this point? <laughs> this is 5-2 this is or 4-3. That's exactly it. The Army fans are getting hyped up here. There you 
go. That pulled her off there. She wants it. There you go. What Cooper's playing great. Four star freshman. She is Unbelievable. playing great. Unbelievable. Our team is showing off the energy too. Tampa, <laughs> Florida, family, friends, everything was going against her in the first set. Even though she lost it, she got some type of momentum. Mm -hmm. Down in the second set, found a way to win. Got into kind of the pushing game instead of the attacking game. But it's been working out well yeah. for her, and she's picking her. She, she's picking her time. She's not trying to do it on every shot, because she's still attacking when she can. Exactly. No, it's been fun to watch just all the different mind games that are going on out there. Army was down three to one, and they it was now three to two. Martha uh, Rally giving some advice there to Cooper Jackson, pumping her up. Absolutely. From the first point in the alumni match. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. When their team scores, the cheers rage to this guy. Oh, yeah. Great serve. So important for Chow just to keep the ball going, even if it's down the middle. Absolutely. Just with these windy conditions, the pressure and everything, just keep. I mean, we got plenty of quarters for the lights, right? We could just keep Oh, <laughs> we'll keep feeding them. Don't That's you right. worry. <laughs> keep these lights on. I'll keep the knob turned. That's we'll keep right. feeding them. That's right. I will say this. The Army fans, I think, are out cheering some of the Air Force fans right now. Definitely. You can hear them shaking the bleach with their feet. A little disappointed in that. Well, only because I think... You know, everything was going so well. You know, the guys won 4-0. Absolutely, up yeah. They were 3-1, just rolling, won that doubles point. And it's one thing, you know, when you start to feel that momentum shift mm -hmm. and you start like... I, it kind of like sucks the energy out of does. you. It does. And yeah. so all of a sudden, you know, Army's like, holy cow, like we could pull this one out of right? the fire. Right, right. Army's starting to rally here. Mm-hmm. Army! And I mean, I'm just, if this match finishes right here, the flood of humanity that's oh, going to we'll run be over to that on these, the other point. two absolutely all the army fans holding their breath right now <laughs> big fit forehand there from chow Moon ball. But I wonder if that's more out of frustration. You know what I mean? Had this match, should be out of it. Because, yeah, that's not something she's hitting on a regular basis right now. Yeah. And I wonder, too, how much the rivalry plays into it. You know, it's, they've had some good wins, Air Force, to get to this undefeated mark so far at 7-0. Well, I would say there's probably a little frustration on Air Force's side because I think they felt, I mean, as probably a number of us thought, which is always a bad thought to have, that they should win this handily. Oh, boy, that was a really, really tough double fault there from Jackson. Well, and look that way, didn't it? I mean, the way they played their doubles, they came out on fire. Yeah, absolutely. Get out of, got out of the gates quickly. Yeah. But... It definitely is a mental game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. 5-2, all <laughs> Oh, boy, that hurts. 
Just she, going for too much behind the be baseline. Absolutely, yeah. way behind the baseline. No you sense in going for something from there. Right yeah. Let's see what Jackson can create here. That's it, kids. All right. It's now officially... College match day, everybody. It yeah. has to come to the last match, right? This is perfect. Two extraordinary academies with extraordinary people. These Americans committing to so much. And we have something so special. A final match. It comes down to one match. Way to go, that, Cooper Jackson. That was very well uh, competed by, by Jackson there. She showed some... Uh, Brit out there. Yep. Imagine how much pressure is on those two people right now. Oh, unbelievable. Absolutely. And they know it now. They you don't have to hide it. Now. It's the real deal. This is it. It's three all. This is just <laughs> the best part of college tennis. USCA National Tennis Center, Lake Nona, Florida. We are in a complete rock fight mm -hmm. between Army and Air Force. Tennis as best. It really is. Mm -hmm. It really is. Number five singles. This is the this is the situation. You've got Justine Dondenet from Army. Lost the first set seven six. Won the second set seven six. Is now up three two in the final set against Alexis Odom, a freshman from Spring, Texas. On the men's side, Air Force beat Army for love. Next match wins here. You know, look, I think my predictions were wrong. I was thinking the men's matches were going to be. That's, that's right. Later. That's right. I think women's. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Army's shaking the stands, <laughs> baby. That's right. That's right. As an Army player, you get energy from it. From the Air Force player, you're either frustrated with it or you're, um, and it can be a little intimidating too at the same time. Definitely. We're so lucky to have these matches. Mm. Alexis Odom in the near court serving for the Air Force Academy. Number 25 on her jersey is the year she will graduate from the academy. It's funny because like 30 minutes ago, it looked like Air Force was going to run away with this one. And now Army That's what some people were that. hoping. <laughs> <laughs> like she slipped a little bit there, Odom. But scrapping, yeah. oh boy. Off the court, just get it up high. Restart the point. Don Dene was a high school tennis All-American out of Santa Clarita, California. for it, yeah. went for it. Gondone just hit a nice angle to get Odom off the court. All right, ladies, you were both captains for your academies. Did you ever have a deciding point on your racket? Did you ever have to go down where it came down to your match to win or to lose? Oh gosh, I'm sure I did. 
<laughs> if I did, <laughs> if I did, I probably didn't if, win if it. So <laughs> that's why I don't it. remember it. Lots of therapy to get rid of that one. Yeah. Oh, you have no idea. How about you, Con? Uh, no, this this is a, a heartbreaker. It was I I did. I was the deciding match in Air, Army Air Force. No way. Oh yeah. no way. It was. Uh, you weren't playing me. I know that. I, I wasn't playing you. I was I was playing two or three. It came down to my last match, and Kim Gidley was actually coach and coach Peck. No way. And mm-hmm. I lost in a tiebreaker in the third oh. set. I wonder who you played. I don't remember. I, I can't name may know. Coach Coach Gidley. Oh, co- remember, Coach remembers but, freaking everything. It's it unbelievable. Was, can you imagine? It was, and it broke. It broke me. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Let's see her ask And now here we are and after all these are. years. Yep. We're back at so it. I, I feel for these girls. And you know, Odom actually um, attended Klein High School in Spring, Texas. Mm. And that's that's right outside of Houston. And that's where I'm from. So I grew up playing tennis in Houston. And, you oh, know, that's, that's cool. That's a tough that's a, Oh, that's a, Texas has Texas. great. Great tennis. Tennis. Yeah. great tennis. Great high school tennis. Great junior tennis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's another Mecca. So quiet out there. Yeah. That was a great forehand from Don Dene. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. All the Army fans on their feet. Mm-hmm. I, I just think the element to have the guys teams here is just all the elements of, you know, military appreciation by the USCA. This is fantastic. It look really is. This. Tennis at its best right now. Yeah, it, it really, look, it's setting this up forehand. There. Yeah, she loves there that backhand go. cross court. Mm-hmm. The other thing we haven't seen in a while are those cut shots. Mm-hmm. You remember yeah, changing this, up yep. those underspins, yep. side spins? Right now, do you think these ladies know that they're the deciding match? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There is no, no doubt. Well, they're seeing their whole team on the sideline. There's no so one left. There is no one left but them, absolutely. Very close match. There you go. Bryce, what All happens right. is if the match wasn't on the line, some people would be on their phones. Some people, it Absolutely. would be kind of scared. But everybody is locked in. It's tied up. Yeah. They left it on the court playing, and they're going to leave it on yeah. the side court by yelling. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I always thought on the coach that uh, whoever was coaching that player, like I would never even mess with them. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I was on other courts, mm-hmm. I wasn't even going to get in because I hadn't watched the entire match, mm-hmm. you know, and it's just let whatever assistant or volunteer assistant, grad mm-hmm. assistant, whoever was on that match the whole way, you... Let them handle yeah, it. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it means you have trust and faith in them that they know what they're going to, they know what to do. I just didn't want to screw it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Covering a lot of ground there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and the thing is, what I like is that she comes in and is aggressive at the point of contact. You know, instead mm-hmm. of like just letting the pressure get to her, she goes after the ball. Right. Way to respond to, yeah. lose, to dropping that last set. Yeah, yeah, I mean... It's just, it's such a big match and it's such a big point for both squads. Oh, yeah. There's, I mean, it's it's pressure filled right now. Okay, here's a little bit of slicey. Yep. Oh, there you go. She got her four, her backhand. Yep. There you go. Seems as though whoever's moving through the ball into the net. Yeah. 
you know, taking that short ball. You're putting the pressure on the other person to make a shot. Oh, and ties it up again. And Bryce, you know, your mom already knows, like, you don't want to be the loser of this match. No, you it do may not. stay with you for a long, <laughs> long time. Lots of therapy. <laughs> Lots of therapy. And then one day you're commentating a match and it's all over again. But then, but then if you win, it'll be a good story. That's true. Well. That's it's true. a very good story. Yeah, I always tried to finish my matches quickly, so I didn't have to be the last one. One way or the other. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Oh, at the top of the net. Yeah. The and white that's... part. That one took that one right into the fence. There yeah. we go. Wow. And the wind is really the gusting wind. You know, all of a sudden it just comes yep. up and really takes that ball. And now double break point, actually triple break point in this NOAD format. It um, definitely changes the temperature too. Yeah. Alexis Odom now. Can't stress this enough. This freshman. This is a big point or big next this point and next point. If she can pull either of these two, or really three of these off. So this is a nice momentum shift for her. Oh boy, there she goes. And you know, she's not doing anything special with her return. She's hitting it right at the tee, right in the center of the court, getting it started. Smart play. And her backhand has been money too. That mm -hmm. backhand cross court's been lethal. Absolutely. And it's really the first time in about 45 minutes where I feel like now Army is now on the defensive. Right. You know, Army had everything kind of rolling. And now this, this is a huge, huge meeting of the minds. Mm -hmm. And you notice that Coach Peck isn't out there. Let the assistant take over. Mm -hmm. He's been on that match the entire time. And look at the teammates in the background just getting everyone mm -hmm. just wound up. That's exactly what you're there supposed to do. The fans still a factor in this. Huge factor. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's Seems like outstanding. The two goals are flashing. And the guys, remember, the guys have been done for a while now, over an hour. And they're in this cold, they're in the <laughs> wind, they're hanging with their fellow cadets. They practice with them, they're in the classroom with them. Absolutely, yep. Yeah. All right, I hear some Air Force screams out there. That's good. Got a 4-3 lead now for Air Force to close this out. Whoever wins this set takes the dual match. There you go. Great play in. Uses her backhand to set it up. Come in. Volley put away. Calm, under pressure. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm looking at her bio, she she wants to become a JAG officer when she's uh, That's great. done at her time. So, I mean, this is a high IQ, composed competitor, human being. Hey, she's showing that JAG composure out there. Yeah. Right on the line. Wow. 
I'm telling you, moving in, coming in and being the aggressor, 90% of the time seems to be, yeah, working for whoever's doing it. And what I like in both of them, they're, they're so confident once they get in there. You know, it's yes. not, they're not it's worried a comfort about place, the moment. Yeah. yeah, they really are. And, you know, when you're the coaching staff, you are living every shot. You are just <laughs> every heartbeat, every bounce of the ball. Beautiful down the line. Dundonese covering it, no problem. Oh, wow, great backhand. Wow. Nice. Beautiful forehand from Dundonese. And at times it looks like it's not even windy out there, the way they're going for such big shots. Yeah. And going for the lines, and now an opportunity for Army now. This sets up the forehand. Good setup. Look at the explosion. Racket head speed. <laughs> Nobody's left this match. It's <laughs> unbelievable. I mean, Dondonay is hitting great deep shots that, I mean, even if Odom wanted to hit a change-up shot or a slice shot, I mean, you're not doing it from behind the baseline. Yeah. It's funny, though. Whoever's taking the lead starts playing more defense. Yeah. And yeah. Whoever's it's... behind is like all of a sudden has the freedom to go out and rip these shots or move forward to the net. Mm -hmm. Now, three break points to get back on serve in this third and final set. Oh, yeah, it goes all the way out of the screen. <laughs> it's good that the lights are so high here that at least the ball does not go out of the light level and then back in. Oh, boy. I tell you, it's the nerves. Yeah, yeah it really is. Absolutely. It really is, yeah. yeah. And you just got to, you know, it's got to be able to focus, put the blinders on. And it's a really good picture of both teams men and women from the Air Force and from Army just ready to storm the court when one side wins. Oh, definitely. I would say this, this particular match is quite even. Yep, yep. And, forth. and we have to go to a tiebreaker in the third. It's the only way to finish this great <laughs> college match I day. I so agree. And her backhand, when she hits it, Odom, it looks like it just doesn't even come up. It just skids. Oh, boy, she missed that overhead. And this is where I wonder where Dondonay, being the sophomore, already having a year of college tennis under her belt. Odom on an undefeated team so far, freshman. You know, we, we've, we've really only started the season. This is... Yeah, I, I was wondering the same thing, absolutely. You know, if you look at the body language of the um, teams on the side, the Air Force is very calm and stoic, yep. and you can see Army, they have the energy. And that's what, you know, if Air Force wants to change the momentum, they need to start showing that energy every point, no matter what. Win or lose. Yes, that's exactly it. All right. Well, it's picking it up. <laughs> <laughs> Even 
and stuff. I mean, we just won that point. And Army, they celebrate like yeah. it's their job. <laughs> oh, wow. Big that, serve. That's massive. Yes. I mean, highlight that circle. That would. The only thing I would say is, like, this could be, like, a real, like, turner for Army. Mm -hmm. I mean, our Air Force has been building this kind of momentum mm -hmm. for a while, had a great season last year. Even before COVID, they've been building something. Yeah. This this would be a huge signature win for Army. Yes. You know, I mean, Coach Pack, I mean, he's got that 498 wins. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that's he's won a lot. But to have this kind of signature win on his resume and for these great cadets. Yes. And you know, Army stopped for they stopped playing for it. They day. did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think two years ago was the first time they had played in a long time, right? That's right. Yeah. I don't know, it was the budget or <laughs> New Well, New York. Remember the New York lockdowns were different than oh. other states. Well, it was this is way pre COVID. Oh, pre -COVID. oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, way okay, okay. pre COVID, yeah. But I like that. I like that theory. Oh, there she goes with that backhand. Yeah. And she can go cross quarter down the mm -hmm. line with it. Now look at the replay on this, and it's I just love her back and she transfers this way. I mean it's so beautiful to watch. It's got sneaky power in it because she times the ball so well. Mm -hmm. She's so calm. Yeah. <laughs> He's bringing back memories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't that calm. I, was I wasn't yeah. close to that calm. <laughs> I would have been jumping up and down like a bunny rabbit just to get my energy out. Don Dene right. takes a 5-4 lead in this final set. I can't stress this enough. We're on serve. Three all. This match decides everything on the women's side. The Air Force men are taking home their trophy. They won 4-0 over, over Army. But... Everybody has stayed. Look at this. See the trainer now is mm -hmm. out there with the roller stick. Some stiffness in the legs. And they should have enough like gas in the tank because they didn't play doubles. Right. You know what I mean? So they're, they're, both these players are singles on the singles lineup clearly grinders on the court. Mm -hmm. This building is shaking. It sure is shaking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bryce, you're on target. <laughs> it is three all. The final match. Air Force on the right and the camouflage blue. Yes, Army on the energy. left. Yep. Both coming out with a little bit of energy. If I'm done today, I continue the pressure. I'm looking to strike early. Do not hope that Odom is going to give you the match. Mm -hmm. This is so intimidating for Air Force right now. <laughs> the energy in this building is next level. Well, the energy is Army in here right now. Yeah, absolutely. I'd, I'd like to see a little more energy Air Force, but... You need a couple of people to create it. Yeah, I think Alexis Odom has that demeanor. She's very calm. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen her go up or down. That's you true. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can great body language, great composure for the freshman. Like when I play baseball, my team energy is everything. If they get a few big hits, they have all the energy, and we just we, we don't cheer or anything in the dugout, so we lose our energy. Mm -hmm. And that definitely plays a really big factor in the game. All right, she's being scrappy, getting the ball. Oh, boy, that hurts. Well, Don Dene, you can see right away, we're not hitting any balls to the backhand. Yeah. Uh, we're yeah. going to make Odom hit as many forehands as possible. She would definitely want that one back. It's it just tricky out here with the wind and everything. Pull this. Take a little time. No reason to rush. There's a lot of tennis left in this game. Come up with your best serve right here. Play the game that you love. She's 
definitely hitting no shots to Odom's back end. Oh, boy. Nice shot. Wow. wow. And you had everything in that point. Drives, Absolutely. drops, net play. Yeah. And this could have easily been missed. Oh, yes. Moved up to that ball before it got low. And look at this. And you can feel Army wow. is in charge. Yes, they I are. Mean, Dominant. This is the first time really tonight. I mean, the doubles, they were really behind it from the start. This mm -hmm. is the first time since the start of this match. She just went into a set that she knew she had to win. Yeah. And she opened up a 30 lovely. Wow. This one is very important. Get up there to that ball. Almost got too low on her. There you go. Oh, what? no. Oh, no. Now oh. Army just needs one Man. more point to win it all. Odom did everything right. Just missed that volley. Game point. All right. Match point. Army. Triple. Quadruple match point. That's really, right. Technically. For the duel and the upset, the underdog, Army, with match point. Can Army do it? Oh no, double fault. Oh. Game over. That's the most miserable it. way to win or to lose. <laughs> and to Game, yeah. set, yeah. match. Congrats. Army, women win 4-3 in an upset over Air Force after being down the entire match. Army's on top of the world. They were down. Oh, yes, they are on top of the world. And found a way. I, I mean, that was well competed. And didn't give up. Justine Dondene, sophomore. Outstanding comeback victory for this squad. I mean, think, think of the um, comebacks that happened tonight. All three setters and tiebreakers everywhere. Tiebreakers, tie absolutely. I mean, there was no giving up at all. Say, mental toughness, never mm -hmm. quit. That's the army. Paul <laughs> Peck, <laughs> 499 <laughs> wins. Coming up next, we will have post-match interviews from both coaches on the winning side from Air Force, from Army. Right here, college match day, USTA, Lake Nona, National Campus. These are your final scores. More to come.
Chris, this is going to be for Luke. It's a rival, the Air Force Academy. Um, to be honest, you were behind the entire match, from the doubles into the singles. What happened for this comeback to happen? Well, first of all, they have amazing heart. Let's go, Jesse. Right? Let's go. So, so after we lost the doubles, like we knew we weren't out of it. We knew that, you know, we had the ability to come back and win. And um, so we just knew we had to battle and battle and battle. And I have to be honest, I was a little nervous at times, <laughs> a little bit. But but I knew deep down they had the ability to come back and they just show what great people they are, and especially Justine. We love we'll you, get Justine. to that. We'll talk about the dynamic about having the men here with you because it was so neat to have the men and women competing at the same time. Time, and the energy at the end was overwhelming. Oh yeah, I mean to have both of us because we practice next to each other all the time. So obviously the teams are friends and so forth. So to be supporting each other is awesome. And um, you know, going through this cool opportunity together has just been a lot of fun. Where does this rank of all your wins? 499. This has got to be very well, special. Today it ranks number one. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but we've had some other good ones, yes, but right yes, now it ranks number one. Yes, yes. Justine, MVP. Yes. What point? Because the other matches are going on in the stadium. Did you know, like it was coming down to your match? Um, I kind of heard three all to tie from the other side, and I knew it wasn't over. Um, I know I was down three four. I did in the second set. I was like, it's not over yet. And I saw my team all line up. And that's when I knew I had to step it up. What tactical changes did you make? Because I mean, there were tiebreakers, there were momentum shifts all over the place. Um. 
I kind of didn't really think throughout. I just knew I had to keep energy up and keep playing my game, keep hitting, and not hold back. What is it like to win for your teammates? It's the best feeling ever, I think. I don't know. I'm still kind of processing. I don't really know what's going on right now. <laughs> but what is it like to win for Army? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, I don't even, it doesn't even feel like I won the match, it's just like, I was just playing my game, doing my thing. You won in the end, we handled the pressure, congratulations Thank coach. You, Way to go West Point, Way to go Army! Go Army! <laughs> You may get electrocuted. <laughs> Chris, we ready to rock? <clears throat> Coach, outstanding victory to go up against Army. A very unique situation with the men and women playing, but you came out and you did the job. Double singles. What does it feel like to have your team represent what you're doing, what the academy is doing? against a tough army team yeah it, it was a great match you know and i i'm just really proud of how our guys came out we put some new doubles teams together and had a new guy in the singles lineup for the first time this year and they just all were clean today you know they just got early leads and they kept those leads and so i was really proud of how they competed today what was it like to play with the women because i i yeah. find that it was such an awesome what you guys did in the huddle you guys come together and clearly there is a team like feeling and vibe that goes beyond just winning and losing. I, I found myself looking at their scoreboards just as much as ours, even yeah. during the doubles point. I was turning around and looking to see how the women were doing. So it was really, really cool to play next to them. Talk about his performance. I mean, yeah, Robert, our team captain, number one doubles, number one singles. Um, they got they got through in doubles, and uh, you know he just came off like fire in singles. It was just really, really a great start for him. And Robert, talk about that because there's a responsibility being a captain of the Air Force Academy. There's a responsibility to playing number one that sets the tone you know talk about that responsibility I mean it definitely is a lot uh, to handle uh, the transition from junior year to just being team captain of the tennis team um, it was pretty difficult just knowing how great our previous captains did with our team trying to carry that legacy on it was tough but I mean I think so far I mean I feel like the team has been really well really well together the chemistry is great on the team so I think just, we work well together. I was so impressed. Honestly, before the match, I saw you guys and uh, talked to a couple of you how locked in everybody was. I mean, it wasn't like coming on on vacation away from Colorado Springs and going to Florida and hanging out at Disney. You really came to win this match. It was a focus. But that starts with you. You know, I mean, is, is, is this something you practice? Is this something that you, we talk about as leaders at the academy? Um, yeah, it is definitely something that uh, I practice consistently. I try to make sure that every practice that I have, every match that I have, I treat it very seriously. Like, because, I mean, anything can happen in a tennis match. And it's all based on how much work you're putting in and how tough you can be in the moment. And if you're not practicing being smart and being calm in those moments, there's no way you can do it in a match. And finally, you're a senior. You're a captain. It's got to be bittersweet because, you know, every match is one one match less of your career, one step closer to the next stage of your life. What is, what kind of goes through your in your you know through you at practices and at these matches with your teammates? Um, it, it is what you said. It is bittersweet um, because at the same time, and I'm taking every match one at a time, taking every practice 
practice, make sure I don't take it for granted. But at the same time, I am counting down the days for graduation. I'm very happy or very excited to graduate from the Air Force Academy. I spent a lot of time, a lot of work. I've been through a lot at that place. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, I just, just counting the days for graduation pretty much. What is your coach? What is your teammates? What has the Air Force Academy meant to you? Um, it has meant a lot. It's been a big part of my life. Um, just the transition from regular high school to the academy, it's its definitely a big uh, change of life. Um, but every single person I've met at the academy, I've loved. I, if, it, if it wasn't for the people, I wouldn't be where I am today. So, yeah. Robert, thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your service. We honor, we are very honored to have you leading us moving forward. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Luke. Thank you. Yeah. Great job, Robert. Yep. Thanks, yeah. Awesome. yeah. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, thanks so much for doing this today. Luke. No, it was great. It was great, yeah. Well, I know it didn't end up on the girls' side the way you wanted, yeah. Team. <laughs> What does he want on this one? Are we going down? Closing. 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 Comments. You got closing it. Comments for me, Jimmy. And that's going to do it for us. College match day was extraordinary. Came down to one match. Bryce, your debut on TV. What do you think? It was an amazing experience. I really loved it. Now, you can take my job anytime you want. I can't work forever, okay? All right. Good luck to you and keep working hard. And Khan, after all these years where you lost a deciding match against Air Force, now your team, West Point, beats Air Force. What are your thoughts on that match? It's about mental toughness. You know, fight, never give up, never quit. It was funny because the entire match, Julie, it seemed like Air Force was in control. The men came out storming, they shut the door, and we're kind of, you know, you're signing autographs. You laugh for like two minutes, you I come back. Second. So. Where do you think the change really happened? Well, you could see the momentum shift out there, and you know, you even watch the crowds on the side, and just Army had the they had the energy, they had the momentum, and so that made a big difference. And both of you are captains of these squads when you played. There must be an amazing amount of pride when you see the athletes and what they're doing as leaders for tomorrow, and this next generation. They fight, they never give up, and they believe in one another. Talk about that that strength of character. You know, it's a it's a family it's a bond and it starts here it starts with you it's, it's we're gonna pass it on so I, I think it's so important and i julie this is not the result you wanted for your women's team the men played great but man they fought to the very end army won it army won it air force didn't lose it army won it and you know what you gotta you gotta roll with that and hopefully you're better for next time but i mean i gotta i give gotta give credit where credit's due so and we had fun oh we had a blast we had Absolutely. so much fun so much fun so for all of our friends that have worked behind the scenes, USCA National Tennis Center, Tennis One app, thank you so much, and thank you to these amazing cadets that will lead our country forward with confidence.